Hey there. Hey there, kids. It's me, Oni the Unicorn. And I'm here to tell you that f***ing your dreams ain't cheap. In fact, it costs a ton of cash to do. So that's why me and the Ono oh Radio Show need your help. Just go to the website displayed below and hit us up with some cash, yo. One dollar, five dollars, fuck, a million dollars if you have it to spare. Any amount is appreciated. Well, I gotta go because these dreams ain't gonna fuck themselves. See ya! <laughs> no, 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 no. No! God, please, no! Oh, no. Oh, no. So Mama Butler got the shingles, and it doesn't sound like much fun at all. of the Oh No Radio Show. If this is your first time listening, my name is Owen, and I am the captain of this shit ship. Along with me tonight, back in the studio, it's my good friend Mikey B. We're back in the studio again, Mike B. Back to the studio, like it should be. Like it should be. It always feels better when we're in here doing it together, and you know what doing it means. Uh, along with us as well via Zoom in the Great White North. How are you doing, my good tall friend? I am doing fantastic. Can I bring you up to date, Mike? I know we had a little bit of a technical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, the goddamn. All right. So I sit down. I pour. I start pouring oh, a drink. I crack open what I think is a beer. <laughs> uh huh. And the sound while I'm sitting here chilling out. Like, yeah, in the fucking microphone is awesome, and I'm like, oh, let's ASMR this shit. Let's oh, like, get it yeah. right up in there. I continue to pour what is ginger beer onto the mic, <laughs> and wow. then into my cup via the mic for for a good moment. The mic's okay, thankfully. What did, you, did the can just explode on you? No, no, I literally. <laughs> Why literally did you do this? Started pouring like. Uh, because yeah, you, life, life's good. Because you're a jabron. Because you're a jabron. That's because he got high. Because he got high. And, uh, and and with us, with us for the first time in a very long time. Chat room's already saying, "Damn, Duncan got attractive since last week." Uh, always, wow. Tom is always getting the. Uh, he's always getting the the good look comments in in the chat room. It's smooches, not the, smooches chat room. It's not the first time, but every. Everybody's favorite clip commander, ladies and gentlemen, it's my good friend, Tom motherfucking Barilli. A pleasure, as, yes. as all. <laughs> 
Really time, really time. What time is it? Really time, really time. What time is it? Really time, really time. It's really time, really time. Gonna talk about some stuff. He's really time. He's got some scruff. It's really time, really time. It's really, 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 really time. So, yeah, we've got Barilli in studio now. If you don't Ooh. know, Barilli was Thanks. a huge portion of the show back in the day when back we would man, maybe we'd stuff way more people than this in this studio. A lot of people in this studio and at, you, at, a, at a certain time and point, yeah. And you used to sit in the closet uh, on yeah. the occasion. I was kind of, you know, I, I would, you know, frequent the closet. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes I would have, you know, evolve here to the uh, to Couch Island. But, yeah, I was a closet guy. Yeah, Sam saying, hey, I gave that guy random vinyls one time. Oh, Sam, thank you so much. Yeah. They still live in my uh, my my record uh, shelf, actually. Thank uh, you. Yeah, it's last Very time, kind of you, Sam. Since the la I'm trying to think the last time we saw you or had you on the show. Uh, and it's... I want to say it was another just like spontaneous trip here. It coincided with the show. But at that point, man, it was two and a half years ago. Yeah, it's, yeah. All, it's and, been And again, a while. with this fucking uh, COVID shit, I feel like time has even pushed way further you're than right. I can even fathom. So so you're living in Atlanta now? Still in Atlanta. Still in I, Atlanta. Where, where I moved when I left um, Orlando. Still there and still doing my thing. And How's it going up there? You like in Atlanta how, still? How is it going? It's going yeah. fine, you know? I mean, I'm still uh, you know, still in, working in my my field and my profession. Um, Making hanging, videos look incredible. tight. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, not you know the the videos I do for for Ono oh Radio Show, which I would prefer to do all the time. Um, those are the fun videos. I'm in the more corporate guise of everything. The yeah, the TV and film world. But yeah, man, it's good. Um, coming out of this uh, quarantine thing, like everybody else, mm -hmm. and. Uh, it's felt pretty good. Uh, obviously, Atlanta has pretty much snapped back. I, I feel yep. like for a while it was like, you know, shit wasn't going on, and people just assimilated is their it, lives and was back to normal pretty quickly up is there. It, is, so. it as, is it as open as it is here? Yeah, it's, absolutely. It's, uh, okay, so Atlanta and Georgia, they're probably in the same Full sort open, of, baby. Yeah. yeah, man, we're, we, we're in the south. So right. it's just been, um, even when things were kind of... Um, Tightly regulated, quote unquote. No, one it was cared. never really tightly regulated. No. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of people walk around like nothing ever happened, and um, it is what it is. But it's right. it's good. You know, I've been moving on with my life, and uh, this is like my first like big vacation seeing people. I mean, just yeah. being able to hug you guys was like oh, without so, without that worry. It's without so that, nice to have contact with people. Again. Absolutely. Well, the same kind of thing happened That's to awesome, me. Bro. You know, speaking of uh, Sam uh, Samantha in the chat room, I got a chance to meet up with her this past week. Oh, Sam did you do and... their show? No, didn't do their show. Oh. We met up to watch the the lightning game at oh, Johnny's. Right. Go lightning, by the way. Sam and uh, and awesome. Trav, and uh, yeah, we, yeah, we we watched the first couple of periods there, and I had no idea that that bitch closes now at like or i, I, I really? guess like in the week maybe it closes what? at like 10 they shoot you guys out yeah what they, the fuck they shoot us out so they they actually they uh do they know who did do they know who they kicked I was out gonna ask, yeah, like I did like you did maybe thing. drop a yeah we are the you, podcasting elite of Orlando. Do you know who I, I am? I would have swung my t and d dick around in that place wow. if i was samantha one one word yeah and this mother will never see a customer again. <laughs> Ever again. Yeah, absolutely. Ever again. But no, they, they were kind enough to come back. Uh, I had Ubered there, so they were kind enough to give me a ride back here. Oh, all right. And we ended up finishing the game watching it at our house, at my nice, house rather. Nice. And uh, and yeah, it was it was cool. It was nice to hang out with them. But again, like felt like okay, we can I can finally I like know. give you guys a hug and not be all weird about it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but to, dude, the most mortifying thing happened as soon as they got here. And and my place is never like filthy. Like it's oh, like, you guys keep a very clean home. Yeah, it could it could be cleaner. No, like everybody's place probably oh, yeah, right. Absolutely, like, dude. There's there's you know window sills that could be wiped and yeah. blinds that need to nobody's be nobody's coming in here looking at that shit. No. But but it was I white glove this place constantly. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> it's a piece of shit. I, I bet I bet your place is so gross. I bet your place is just like pizza crusts and like crumbs just and uh, a throne of pizza boxes. Yeah. No, just my little computer area. That's yeah, right. Honestly. Yeah. A empty Mountain Dew bottles which you occasionally like pee into when oh you don't want to get up to no, I, all Howard Hughes in I it. brought yeah. a uh that we were gonna throw out this big like <laughs> Uh, it's like a five gallon Cambro. Mm. It's like a big plastic container. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> had a crack in the bottom. I was like, oh, no, 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 we're not throwing that out. I took it home with me. I could tape that thing up. No, I just put a trash bag in it. Oh, so now I have yeah. like a big All five right. gallon. <laughs> like cooler. For, cool. for trash bag, for trash. Oh, okay. yeah, that's pretty smart, bro. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. dig it. I so dig I'm it. trying to get better, but. But no, I uh, I was embarrassed because, and it was a it was a rainy evening. It was you know it's been raining a lot here. It's typical Florida sure, summer or what sure. have you. But like they're here in my they're in my living room, not here for five minutes. When the biggest fucking palmetto bug, mm. cockroachy type thing, comes. just kind of yeah. oh, yeah. into the living room and, and hey guys, what's going on? Yeah. Oh yeah, welcome yeah. to my house. <laughs> yeah. we but that, that should have ever be a signif. I mean, I think that if that has the stigma where like. Oh, palmetto bugs, cockroaches. It's a it's a symbol of like filth and dirtiness. But dude, welcome to Florida. Yeah. Welcome to the South. Cockroaches are fucking everywhere. Now, if you've got those little German, the German ones, ones, then you're a piece of shit. Like I have a <laughs> I have a friend, my buddy Steve. I'll out him out around the show right so now. Oh god. Oh dude, yeah, he, you're filthy at that his, point. His pantry Ew. was just like all like the bacon grease Ooh, and, yeah. and well, German what? cockroaches. There's no excuse with food. If if they're in the area where there's food, that yeah. means you're uh, that there's stuff open or there's like crumbs and shit on the yeah, floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it did. I mean, either way, it's did you not, kill it in front of them? Yeah, killed oh, you it. Have to killed, kill it. You gotta kill it right example. in front of Absolutely. them. Absolutely. Stomp then I, on it. And then I shamed Ginger for not doing her job as a cat. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you're a cat, on. Ginger. Yeah, it's you her need job. to be doing. Fucking Ginger. Why do we employ you yeah. here at Odo That's Media? That's a third strike for yeah. you, Ginger. Ginger. It's. Oh, she's. N- I don't know, man. She was complaining about those furlough months where you mm-hmm. guys just, well, you know, weren't having her work. Mm-hmm. She got unemployment like all the rest of us. Exactly. Whatever, Ginger. Sure. Never shared any of that yeah, with me. That's what I'm me. saying. Yeah, you got to get off the Uncle Sam's teat eventually. Speaking of shitty news, uh, myself, uh, yeah, my, I mentioned it top of the show. My poor mother texted mm. me the other day yeah. that she has shingles. Ooh, baby. And that is what do you guys? What do you guys know about shingles? I know, uh, I know Isn't that, that like my a... grandmother and her like husband both got shingles. Like one got it at one oh. period and then the other got it. And I remember my dad being like, yeah, it's they're in like apparently it can be excruciatingly excruciatingly painful. That's what it seems like. And he was just like, it doesn't look pleasant. It's obviously it has a a very unpleasant look, raw, red, raw. It's a rashy type thing. Yeah. yeah, But apparently there were moments of just being debilitatingly painful. That's what she was saying. It's like it is like an adult ish chicken pox, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's That's what I was going to ask. That's a good way to put it. Yeah, Yeah. that's exactly what it is, really. It's a skin, a skin ailment. But it's not contagious, right? No, No, it's not. And and but I guess you're supposed to stay it, away from babies that have not had chicken pox. Oh, I didn't know that. That's like a thing because you can like because they get a, they get adult chicken pox. Right, and they're little tiny <laughs> right. baby asses. Yeah, but can't can handle. you can't get handle. shingles if you had chicken pox? Yes. Oh, that's yeah. Sucks. Apparently, you can. Well, what the fuck did we all went through chicken pox for? God. No, well, thanks, so it's, I didn't see you didn't get chicken pox again as a child. Oh, okay, that's that's true. That's, that's true. only to fix that at 18. They pull the, I don't know, they pull your pin or something, and oh, now you nah, you're good. access Did to everybody shingles. everybody here have chicken pox? What's that? Did you have yeah. chicken pox? Yeah, I had yeah. chicken pox. Isn't it weird? Like, have you ever met someone that hadn't had chicken well, pox? Well, kids these days get I vaccines. Shame them. Kids these days get vaccines for it. So most, like, kids, like, growing up now, they don't get chicken pox. I didn't know that. Whereas our generation. There's a chicken pox vaccine? Yeah. Poor shit. They, I, feel like that's they have to... I feel like that's what's making kids soft, man. Maybe. And and also, um, okay. I th- I think I've brought this up before. <laughs> uh, how I'm an advanced uh, human being. I've evolved mm. just a little <laughs> bit. That I'm better than I don't know. Just about a everybody. lot of people. Okay. Yeah. Advanced human man. Advanced. I, but I think it's well, because I. I apart got, from I the mooniness, apart from the mooniness, yeah, but what I if think the that makes me is stronger. The strength, it's the str- what we mm-hmm. deem as like maybe uh, a hindrance. A, a fa- uh, yeah, a failure is a huge advancement. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mikey's laughing all the way to the bank. Now, okay. So after this, my mom told me that there is apparently now a shingles vaccine, okay, mm-hmm. and that you can get that, but they won't give it to you in most right. countries unless you're over fifty. But I want to. What say. about in Portugal? See, I don't know. I mm. think I think that uh, she said that she could get it and yeah. will get it at when this is all done 
because apparently you can get shingles more than once Oof. as well. Yeah. And she Bonner. was telling me, she was telling me, he's like, yeah, at first it felt like the, you know, she knew she got checked out and like, and, and all the symptoms and everything. And like, it started, it felt like her, it's all on her left side and her mm-hmm. left hand felt like it was being electrocuted Oof. is the way that she's yeah. described Boy, it. That's not pleasant. And now it feels like she's got like a third degree burn is, yeah. is kind of the thing. Yep. But she has such like, She's like, I can barely feel mm. half of my left hand. And I, and I guess it's one of the things it does is that it attacks the nervous system. And essentially it like, it makes it so, yeah, like you get like all this numbness, mm. like on your side and your hand and everything. And part of what she has to take is part of like her rehabilitation and everything. And, and this shit could last like months, by the way. Like it, it's not like a quick thing. Like chicken pox is what, like a week? Like you have yeah, it. Yeah, or... it's a pretty quick in and out with in chicken and pox. Yeah. Right. And, and w- so I guess. a weekend. I guess with shingles, <laughs> she has to take medication yeah. to rebuild the nerve, the, the nervous crazy. system that's in her like whole like hand and shit. Hold on. Wow. So we have we have drugs that like strengthen mm-hmm. and rebuild your nerves, right? Mm-hmm. Can I just start taking those <laughs> now? Forever. Maybe. Like start now. That, so you have super nerves. Oh man! Cyborg, you, can you imagine how like, better I'd be? But that's with, like, but that's not good though. That that would be a hindrance because then your pain tolerance would be so yeah, like it, no, it's, it's, it's already s- it's already so high. I need to drop it down a little <laughs> Just bit to be a regular no, no, no. human, so I can then build <laughs> oh, it up Jesus. even yeah, but imagine higher your sex tolerance. Like uh, yeah, I feel like I've gotten yeah. to kind of a uh, you know sexy plateau, if you will. <laughs> right, uh, the best plateau that's the name of your autobiography, sexy plateau, <laughs> the Ty Winter story. It's only six pages but, long. But like like any anime, I want to level up. I want to level right. up. There's a way to do it. Sure, yeah, absolutely. You want to be able to go longer. It's an upgrade. You want to? No, lo- longer is not a problem. Just just. Can uh, you get shingles uh, on your dick? <laughs> you I probably could. Cool. God, Lord, kill me now. Oh man, that'd be like dick shingles. A new kink. Dick Shingles, that's the name of my new character. Oh, uh, that is the best he's a he's a late Shingles. night he's a late night talk show host. His I like name is Dick, Dick Shingles. Shingles. Dick or, it's Shingles. A, or it's a Charles Dickens character in one of his books. Might be. <laughs> Sam says though that she had uh, both chicken pox and shingles as a oh, kid. Oh man. So she she like I at the same also time? scabies and lice. Yeah. And she was poor. Yeah, yeah that well, sucks, Sam. And she had a mullet. And she did have a mullet. Well, that was just God, God cursing mullet. her for having a mullet. It was like, you know what? Give this kid with the mullet chicken pox and shingles. Well, I mean. Fuck this chick. I oh, feel look, like you would honorarily <laughs> get a mullet from, I think it's the other way around. You get the it mullet after, after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's, but I didn't, I didn't actually know you could get it's shingles like those, as a It's kid. like those plants that grow after they drop atom bombs, you know, like 10 years mm-hmm. after. that just grows these strange plants. It's just mullets. <laughs> mullets, yeah. <laughs> Plants with mullets, fucking dick shingles. Yeah, I, that that well, would. I hope be. your mom feels better, man, because that sounds awful. Yeah, uh, Poor I'll, mom. I'll make sure to wish her the best she's from the so, show. She's just so sweet. I, I I hope she's okay. She is. Did you hear? She called in on the five hundred. I did. I loved it. It was great. Yeah. And great job on the five hundred. By oh, the way, and you know a belated, you. a, a belated congratulations for five hundred fucking shows. 500 That's incredible. Shows. Hmm. Yeah, that is pretty nuts. We do have a, a quick voicemail. I want to play. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let me. Um, I'm pulling it up right now. All I right, hope somebody's calling in with their music question of the week. Oh, maybe. Uh, does he wear a dumb hat? Let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> you just right. Sorry, Russell. I don't know, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's an inside joke. It's all right, all okay. right, cool. It's it's fine. I'll just play the old break. Anyway, uh, here we go. Here's the voice now. As I stand here, a tractory tube on my lunch break in the rain, and all I can have... It's Duncan, by the way. Yeah, it's I, I gathered yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's on lunch uh, the, at the factory there, and he's calling. Yeah, all I have going through my head is, uh, maybe <laughs> to keep the fortune on that baby. Right. And I just got to say, ever since Sunday, as long as I've been in my fucking That's hilarious. Head, um, Cliff Commander, Love you, man. son of a bitch. That's what I do. It's good to hear you, but damn you for getting that <laughs> <in my head. laughs> I hate you, and 
I love you. Smooches. Do you like? Smooches, Duncan. I do miss Duncan very yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. It warmed you good. We didn't get a lot of uh, a lot of you know comments on on our or our rendition. I thought you guys. Uh, I I told you afterward. I'm like, you guys crushed good. the fucking karaoke. <laughs> oh, I, crushed it. I, I did my best. You did great. I put my best effort. You in. actually like caught up and was like, he was like, you got the tempo down. Like, it, I mean, oh, I gotta say, it was definitely all Owen. He it was. was like, me. It was him, but he nailed it. It could tell. I mean, the the mark of a true lead singer of a band. Oh, you could yeah. just pick it up. I mean, dude, that's it. I mean, nailed uh, it. Nailed it, it took it, me to say, well, it once a front man. Ty was always Ty was throwing man. in kind of the Oasis echo. And whatever I'm like, he yeah, was. Ty, there we go. Ty, Ty, Ty's musical prowess I, was coming into play. I don't want to take away from Owen's right. portrayal of a you band that he it. loves. You supported so it, Ty. I'm, I'm sitting over yeah, here. Yeah, absolutely. The, I'll give you the reverb. I'll give you that. He, you were good. Yeah, he was hitting the echo at the right time. It's perfect. A bit, a bit. Beautiful. We need more of that. Actually, I got, I got to hunt down some great karaoke renditions. More. Uh, maybe every once in a while, we toss them in clips. Oh, now we're we've, there's a lot of there's a lot of mullet talk in the chat room right wow, now. Wow, we spawned the mullet conversation. Yeah, apparently Derek had a mullet back in the day really? as well. So I want to see I, these pictures. I just recently had a mullet. You guys kind of both did too. had mullets. Yeah, yeah. you did the yeah. whole quarantine mullet thing pretty well. Then the jobs thing. Yeah, happened. you know jobs happen. Jobs happen. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know who I feel worse for? What? My little brother. Because um, yeah. I had when he got married, my mullet was <laughs> pretty much at its. <laughs> That's right. Peak. Yeah, yeah. You. It was. Yeah. You cut it like a week after that. I think. <laughs> I want to say. <laughs> I love that. Like it's his day of like special day is immortalized by your mullet. Yeah, he wouldn't cut oh, it for his brother's wedding. The but pictures, he, but the as soon as he too, like it's like <laughs> big and pompy <laughs> and like the back is yeah, it's like great. I had brushed like the back like a thousand times, so it's like. Floofy, absolutely. You and then I'm like ma- fucking Maine. And then I'm like, st- we're standing on the beach, so it's got a little, oh, little wind, great. To a little it. lift. They call it some lift to that mullet. Oh, and then yeah, like a week, two weeks later, I'm like, eh, it's so hot. <laughs> Yeah, you no. should have cut it and give it, given it to him and his wife as a belated. Um, oh, that would be wedding good. gift, and then they, you know, or encased it in something and been like, "There it is, your wedding mullet." Yes, you should have done that. Oh, I, I've got to show you guys sometimes, but there's a <laughs> there's like a full like eight or nine. I did like a whole little model session under this like red light with a cigar <laughs> and my mullet. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, it's- a thing of beauty, mm. Mike. Mm. I think, yeah, definitely for their first year anniversary. Like, you, oh, you got to grow it back. You got to grow it back. Like, yeah. that's just, just to memorialize. I think, I think every big event in your brother's life, like maybe a first child, yep. something, always mullet's got to make its way back. Mm-hmm. Oh, from the moment I hear he's pregnant, just start like right. letting the mullet flow. Actually, the gender, we, the gender reveal party should be they lift your mullet and it says, boy It's or back girl. there. It's underneath. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. We're talking underneath. big things. Yeah. I like big that things. idea. Mm-hmm. Can I say, too, like you mentioned, you just said something like <laughs> when he's pregnant. Like that's a thing that like couples do these people's, days. People's like actually they say, say that? they say we're pregnant. We're pregnant. Like, no, we're you're pregnant. Not. You're, no, you're no, poor you're not. Fucking wife is pregnant. You're right. Yeah, your wife yeah. is pregnant. You're not pregnant. You're over yeah. here drinking Coors you're Light, not pushing and... a watermelon through your vagina. Yeah, I don't like <laughs> when people say that. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to go. What if the babies grew in your scrotum? Ew. And then like, like your balls, balls got bigger oh, and they yeah. only come out when and you they... orgasm. When you, when you, no, like, I mean, your scrotum just whoa. like splits at the bottom and you like Ooh. egg sac drop it egg out. Egg sac oh. drop out? Like your penis opens up to the sides of a bowling ball and then you just spit out the baby. Boop. That's horrific. That's we horrific. Al- we also had an idea in high school about like what if sperm were like like tadpole size and you only had like one at a time. <laughs> and you just, they just shoot out of you like a bullet. Yeah, it was just like. <laughs> I like the idea of like. Constructing a baby too, like what if like pits and pieces like grew in you, and, and then, then like just oh it off. needs a left arm, oh, I gotta jerk come, off here again. Here comes the, here comes the oh, yeah, and then and then it's like then you gotta like you just oh, you, and then it attaches attaches to like this globule, yeah. and then it sits in like your like back Lego room. people and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it like sits in your back room until it's fully done, <laughs> oh, and it's just there, kind of like uh, yeah, yeah. and then like you just jizz on it, and then it <laughs> becomes a thing. Like it's become, all sentient and disgusting. Thing, like yeah. kill me <laughs> yeah like oh and then finally and then you have friends around and you're like yo let me show you my new child that i'm building they're all like, pulse but they have to act eye. like it's really yeah they're cute. like oh, oh it's so cute it has, it has your eye one <laughs> eye is it, you have another eye coming yeah yeah yeah, maybe yeah tonight week. tonight yeah, yeah. tonight yeah <laughs> <laughs> That's a horrific <laughs> sci-fi movie ready to be made by the way speaking of like weird horrific things i uh 
I, I've, I've always, I've always had this like strange, or maybe it's a justified fear of the mos- the Florida mosquito truck. Do you guys know about the Florida yeah, mosquito truck? Yeah, growing up north, they'd had the mosquito trucks, the mist, the big foggers. Yes, yeah, bro. Yeah. I think yeah. I want to say that that I always have like this tin foil hat thing with that uh-huh. shit too. Like they're getting us sick. They don't care. It There's was, not mosquitoes, dude. It was driving around last night. I'm sitting on my porch at 2 a.m., 3 a.m., whatever a dumb thing. time I'm up. Yeah, and the mosquito truck comes by. He's going. Brrr, and always yep. you hear it, and it's spraying, and I'm like. I can like taste it. I'm like Ew. that's that's like in my beer. Like, uh, well, yeah, and it, and the reality is, is like anything it. that is quote unquote a chemical base. I don't care what you say. That is not good to be in the air and us breathing it in. Even yeah. animals, like your pets walking around outside after like getting it all in their paws and bringing it in your house. Well, this is kind of what I'm saying. Oh, is like it feels to me like they should probably like send out a memo, right? Like, yeah. hey guys, yeah. maybe stay in your house for an hour between. No. On Monday night between two they and three in the morning, like so, uh, like I right. grew up in a trailer park for most of my childhood. Right, yeah. Not early. you. Oh, oh, even I, Mike B. Really grew up <laughs> the in, fancy pants that you are. Uh, grew up in a trailer. That's okay. how I'm so humble. So, so did mm-hmm. the mosquito truck come by your hood? He All lived in the mosquito <laughs> truck. <laughs> they, they came. It's not like they came by the like every the now and then. Truck. They came by like in the summer. Every night, oh, they were bad out there. Now the problem was nah, that's population control for the trailer park. Is what that some, is. <laughs> sometimes we'd be riding our bikes outside, yeah. and you couldn't kind of really notice it until you'd yeah. hit a street where they'd already and you're tasting sprayed, it. and then it was like Owen said, you're like, oh, yeah, you oh, taste oh, it. Oh, like, gross. Oh. You have to like skid your bike and turn it's, back it's, around. It's sad because, like, I gotta say, like, mosquitoes are fucking disgusting. Like, there's really no reason for them to exist. I guess no, maybe maybe frogs and other insects eat, or other, other like, things eat them. But, Bats like, eat them and they're shit. They're just disgusting, but... bro. Like, things that just fly around and suck your blood and that are pests. I mean, it's just like... Yeah. You know, there is no God. That is like... Well, no, why would that be proof. made? It's, it's just proof. disgusting, bro. I hate them. I always say, too, like, anything like... Okay... Leeches. Why would you make a leech? Yeah, leeches are gross. Leeches are fucking gross. Uh, so I can get the demons out of me? They actually, but, but okay, here's the weird thing about leeches. They were also like, somebody back in the day was like, you know what? We the Leeching was an actual medical thing that they would yeah. do to people. So I, can, people. I think I can they understand. still actually do, they still do, do that. Do I think in cer- for certain conditions. Mm, really? I think it's because like certain people, they're like... Like their blood doesn't clot correctly or okay, whatever. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. So and they can't like, and there's certain medications that they would usually just give okay. to the person now. But if that person's maybe allergic to that medication okay, or yeah, that something like that, yeah. they can they can still use leeches. Like I think if you were to go to any <laughs> hospital in this country, I think you'll find somewhere oh in the back God. room there's a jar of uh, leeches. Uh, Samantha said that they wanted to bloodlet her and what? put leeches on really? her. Really? What? When she had uh, uh, her chicken iron pox was too... and a mullet, she said, <laughs> "She said Shingles. while she swirled her mullet and itched her chicken pox." <laughs> the doctor looked at her mullet and was like, "Okay, we're gonna leech you because uh, yeah, okay, we're you gonna, gonna bleed mullet. some of that redneck out of yeah. you." Oh, do you think that that's an actual job, a leechist or something? Like, I'm a professional leechist. I think it was leecher. I think now, yeah, what it, I probably think it, used to be the barber. I'm the leecher, dude. The barber used to do all that, the bloodletting. Yeah, yeah like yeah, all of that. Bro. Like, Ew. We yeah. should bring that back. Bar- uh, well, dude, they, I mean, what a, what a kind dentistry. of honorable profession, right? You're like, right. I need call the call the leecher, call the leeches. It's like, yeah, you know what? I'm I'm having some real like tough times with my health right now. I'm gonna go see the you just barber. Show up with a jar of disgusting uh, leeches. Yeah, he's gonna take care of my bloodletting. It's gonna make <laughs> me feel better. And while I'm at it. I'll get a fade. Would you like a leech treatment while you're at it? Yeah. Instead of like a hot towel, you can yeah, just yeah, get a yeah. leech on your neck. Yeah, that's that's what I, I think. I feel like I got that. just too much blood in me. Like I feel full. Wow, this yeah. is actually really relaxing. Full? Yeah, <laughs> uh, you're like the cur- tur- like you're no no color in your lips anymore. You're just losing all your blood. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was gonna say you're starting to. Like, How long are you supposed out? to leave this on? I feel fantastic. I know, this right? Feels, it's, it's like it's like a uh, dude. Like uh, no, like go have mask. like have like two two Budweisers yeah, and then yeah. go to a bloodletting. <laughs> It's like when you drink on an empty stomach, or, or the, right after you give blood. Yeah, right after like, you give blood. I'll used be to honest. Do. I would actually rather uh, have somebody put a leech on me and have it suck my blood. Uh, giving blood, I don't really enjoy that process. I've done it a few times, and it's just like, 
watching a big old bag of my blood. They take is too much up, man. Yeah, uh, and people. The times I've gone, people have passed out. They've like oh, that's me. rushed people like to wake them up, and I'm like, "Is that yep. guy okay over there?" They're like, "Yeah, have a cookie. You're fine. You have another yeah, hour." Shut one up. One. Eat this cookie. Here, they put a, le- a leech on your face. Okay, so you guys used to give blood. <laughs> I used to donate plasma. I, I th- hear that's incredibly like long, right? You have to sit oh, it's for a like while. an hour and a half, almost Jesus two hours, Christ. where you're linked into the system and they're slowly taking blood out of you and swirling <laughs> it and then pumping nah. like see, I, I no. blood that. back into you. Just for, kill me for if about, I get to that point. Just kill oh, no, me, bro. It was for weed money. Oh, yeah, oh. they paid that's for funny. this shit, so yeah, I was just not? doing it to get weed <laughs> yeah. money. All right, that's fair. And this I'm thinking, you know what? If, if you saw the lobby, if you saw the lobby of that blood. place, absolutely, Ty. Nobody wants your blood. No one wants nope, your blood. Nope. They don't nope. want my blood either, though, bro. They don't. They don't oh, want it. You're British. Yeah, mad cow. Apparently, got mad cow still from the early '90s. They won't. They don't want it. I got that strong natural Floridian blood. Yeah. Yeah, you survived. Stuff. The mosquito blowers and shit. You're like, they're like, this kid is so strong. That, well, how do you think he got his titties? Like, that's that's, that's just extra. Maybe effect. that is. Maybe I mean, we're we're all laughing, man. I'm telling you, you are a superhuman. Yeah, it's yeah. true. When the apocalypse comes, You'll I'll be, be like, one. yeah, I'll be the Eli. Ooh, this is <laughs> this is interesting. Okay, we got Big Tim Murphy in the chat room. Hey, Hi, Big, Big Tim. Tim. He's saying that Adius Scapularis is back in Florida. Do you see the link in the chat? Can you what? click on that? I don't want to do it because it'll fuck my shit up. That's kind of scary. Yeah, he posted the link in the chat here. Uh, mm. Slave trade, like so I guess there's some. Oh, okay. Basically, the slave trade bought brought the mosquito. What from Africa? Uh, yep. No, they're trying to make they this lived a here black before. Thing. No, man, they're saying scientific research is pointing to Whoa. that they came over really with a, with the slaves with the slaves. With the slaves. Huh? Maybe okay. they got better blood than us. Black people probably do have better blood than us. I oh, mean, absolutely. You know when people say it's like they've no, got soul, is, like and everything. It, maybe it's maybe it's in their blood. Yeah, maybe absolutely. maybe that's it. Maybe they and it's and it's a curse to us to all get bit by them because we all like enslave black people and shit. They're ah. like, here, bite all these fucking pasty white people. Maybe that and they taste good. Maybe that is God's way of correcting that's, that's, things. You know what? I'll take it back. There is a God. May, okay, yeah, maybe fine. there is. Maybe he's trying to give the his, white people the malaria, curse. the malaria, and the, the West Nile. Yeah. Hold on, I think. Uh, or what's that one that that was around for a while where he made like babies' heads all big? Oof, I don't know. There's like there's some. Know. All I know oh, is that, that like Africa spawns the nastiest fucking like pathogens and viruses hold on does god hate africa this is a uh, not oh, yeah n- not the real that was not the real story uh, apparently there is a super invasive uh, okay. version of mosquitoes oh su- the super skeeto that for the first time in like a, a very long time is back is back in florida yeah why not oh sorry tim it, it makes sense yeah we're trying to correct it here after in order to buy slaves this period is the approximate timing in which 80s and families spread to europe americas and asia the findings are are evidenced through dna sequencing and large-scale single nucleoid polymorphisms analysis also genetic word. variation supports the migration theory that the mosquito first spreads the new world and then to australia and asia oh, great all right, yeah. Lucky us. Yeah, he can call in 407-906-6466. Yeah. Drop that knowledge on us. The phone lines are open. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But, uh, you know. Call hey, in, uh, Tim. Give it a shot if you want. That's that's a thing. I just hate mosquitoes. Hate them. Yeah, they, they do kind of blow. Did you guys ever do that thing where the mosquito lands on you, and then you, like, let it get some, and then you just give them the old... And then you whack it? And no. It, and it's super bloody? You just, like... Well, you pump you pump the mosquito. Yeah, but like once full uh, of yeah. more blood. Oh, and sometimes you can you can't pop off. No, they just die. What? It's, like it's just, too much blood. They can't yeah, handle it. <laughs> yeah. Now that's just because of you and all the chemicals that are in your body from oh, the mosquito truck. Yeah, maybe you just got super drunk like right away. <laughs> Hang on, let me drunk ass mosquitoes. That was the name of the Ono Radio Show like team we made. Probably. Hey, is this Big Tim? It is. Hey, baby, how you doing? What's up? Yeah. Now, uh, the 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 slave trade thing is way was Portuguese first started doing it. Uh huh. Wasn't like the Middle Passage shit. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, no mosquitoes fucking suck, y'all. Oh, yeah, they fucking uh, yeah, suck, man. Uh, they're not really native to here because uh, I I started digging into this a while back because I was like. 
how the fuck did people survive? Oh, fuck off, Derek the Antihero. You can fuck off him. Like, how the fuck did mosquitoes end up? Like, how could you live back here before it was deep and everything that's else? That's a good truth. Oh, you're, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a really good point. But you'd, <laughs> yeah. you'd also sort of think, Tim, that just because of our climate, that obviously mosquitoes would thrive here. Mm-hmm. So, you know, with all the swamps, the, the, the bodies of water, all that type of thing that they kind of live through. Absolutely. So you're saying that you don't think that they, or, or science suggests that they weren't around in like the days of like the Native Americans and stuff living in Florida. Well, well they weren't they weren't as prevalent back then, but also remember there's different species of mosquito friends. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's so true. it's like you get the ones with the dangy fever and shit because all they all trace back from the West African forest and all. Oh. Uh, which is where all that real nasty shit you don't say come from uh, or, or reference earlier. And the reason why is because Africa on your map is shrunk down like uh 70 or 80 percent yeah i've heard i've heard about that the whole globe the whole world africa map's all way fucked up fucking bigger than you think right yeah, yeah, yeah. and there's a ton of parts of africa we've never been to and shit uh we we just now discovered where the nile comes from what the 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 nile virus or the actual river no the nile river where the mouth of it is that was a big deal for a very long time oh wow like, it was in like the shit i think 70s when they found the fucking nile river dude Wow. What? Better late than never. I, I yeah, have no I mean, knowledge well, of this. That's crazy, bro. I mean, well, when it was with the head of it and all, it's the whole thing. But uh, I'm going to let y'all go because this is weird with my. I need to get a new phone. Uh, you need a what? New phone. Oh, a new phone. For me to hear you, I have to put you on speakerphone. That's going to create a delay. Oh, okay. But yeah. I'm hard on my phones. I get shit in the speakers and little things, you know? <laughs> Are you doing all right, though, before you go? Too. Oh no, I'm living a dream, friend. I uh, awesome. I was switch streaming a little bit of uh, uh, that uh, Valheim thing or whatever. Okay, I see you're and big then, on you're uh, big on TikTok now, right? Oh, nice. I well, I mean, no, but dancing? yes, like they... I'm bigger compared to us, I guess, but not compared to like. There's a llama. There's a woman that wears a llama outfit in high heels. It might not even be a woman that dances. Wow. That has three times the subscribers as me. Do you get any money Literally, from the TikTok? I think it actually has four times the number of subscribers as me. So like, <laughs> I have I have enough to be like a micro celebrity on the TikTok. Okay. Sh- shout you, out what's your TikTok you, yeah, handle? Yeah, shout yeah, it out. Uncle Big Tim. Right. Uncle so Big like, Tim. You awesome. You don't get. I mean, like, I'm not even in a hundred thousand six. Well, yeah, but Eve Six will come on your show too, though. Really? Uh, Eve yeah, Six, shoot him a the band. On Twitter. He literally said, "We're going to devalue oh. capitalism, artificial scarcity." He'll do anybody's show. Hey, All right. Hey, next guest, book him. I'm in. I'm in. I'll swallow my pride, choke on the rise, the laughter off, leave, leave me empty inside. You know. Oh, the band Eve Six. Yeah, is that what he's oh. talking about? Eve Six, yeah. the band. Swallowing down, turn inside out. Turn inside out. Weird. Weird. All right. Weird. Yeah. Okay. I, I haven't heard from him for a while. It makes sense. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll fuck with that. Uh, we'll do. He's we... got a new record out uh, called Grim Value that you should all check out. All right. I actually have a great Eve 6 this... story I can Hold tell on. you, actually. It's really fucked this up. This sounds like Big Tim is sponsored by Eve 6. Are they sitting with you right now? I'm not sponsored by Eve 6, but that's what he plugged. I'm just doing a favor to my celebrity guest that came on my show. My close personal friend Max from E6. Now. Okay, I mean him on first name basis. Remember, That's really I like it. I like it. That's my friend now. Yeah. So you know, wow. If I was on somebody's show, I was like, oh yeah. I mean, I went from Ono Radio. You know, they're they're Thursday nights, give or take. Hell yeah, sure. dude. No, that's well uh, awesome. That's what I, I, if y'all had a new record come out, I'd be like, oh, their new record came out, bro. You know, I mean, it sells itself. You gotta, you gotta get Sounds like we need to make a record. Well, Tim, I hope you're doing well with that. I hope the the, the TikToks can can make you rich. I hope that some of uh, those promiscuous women want to come join your commune too, Tim. Yeah, they will. Well, I mean, Give I'm working time. on the co- so the commune thing. I'm gonna work on eventually. Uh, I gotta get my plumbing <laughs> fixed before I do all that. But yeah, it's never, probably. I can't, I can't be asking people to come live in a commune without plumbing. That is a good. That's fair. That's, That's fair. fair. I just fucked up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, we got to get you in on the show sometime soon, and. I uh, mean, I'm down. Uh, you let me know. Once I get mobile again or whatever, we'll, we'll figure it out. Cool, buddy. We'll uh, we'll care. talk soon. All Love right, you, Tim. Love you. Right. I'll see y'all later. Also, it's weird because I'm watching you on Twitch as I talk to you. So oh. There's a delay. Oh, I bet it's delay. Yeah, I'm, the I'm delay. I'm seeing the delay, and I feel like I'm watching a damn a movie. <laughs> From the 70s, oh, so they had they perfected the technology. The so you still get the fucking, <laughs> yeah. it, you know, it's pretty close. But yeah, if you're if you're looking close, you can tell, and it's just 
I get you. I'm too hot for this voice. I hear you, man. Well, we'll <laughs> talk soon. He's out. Later, uh, brother. Nice to hear from Big Tim. It's good to he's, know. He's always a pleasure. He's so, a great, great dude. So what's your Eve okay. 6 story? It's a very awkward Eve 6 story. This is back in, like, 99. And Did this was probably a when. Blowjob? No, but it was not weird. It has to do with a dick, basically. Oh. So we, uh, myself, mm. a couple of friends, we used to go up to Montreal a lot because where I lived in the Northeast was probably about five hours to the border, crossover into Canada. And, and Montreal was a great spot because, you know, the drinking gauge was low. Conversion rate was always up. So it was like, yeah. a, a, like a dollar something to the dollar American. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the nice part about being a young lad going to Montreal is the plethora of Gentlemen's clubs, yeah, tons. Yeah. Uh, St. Catherine's tr- is Street. It, is this where you got so your many... first double blowjob? I remember you're no, a double. Yeah, you're a God, double blowjob man. Thank God the one of the uh, the givers wasn't <laughs> the person that I'm talking about from Eve Six. But anyway, we go to this uh, uh, one of the most premier clubs in uh, Montreal called Club Super Sex. If you ever go, it's the best one there. Club. So we go. It's like the second. It's like the second night we go. First night we go, we get kind of, eh, you know, mediocre seating. You know, we're kind of like back in the the, lo- the lower tier. You're not the front si- row. No. And at the table right near the pole opens up. So me, the three other people I'm with, we beeline it. We get the, we get the table. It's great. We look up. And they have, like, a VIP section that's all roped off, and it's, like, the premier spot in the club. You can see it. We see, like, four dudes go sit there. We're looking like, who the fuck are these motherfuckers? They're getting all bottle service. Strippers are going up there. So all of a sudden, they would do these things where they would pull guys on the stage for their birthdays, right? Ah. Well, that was never a good thing because what they ended up doing is embarrassing the guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they bring this guy up on the stage from that VIP area. Come on up, so-and-so. Guy walks up on stage. The girl's like, this is, don't know his name, so-and-so. The drummer for Eve 6. Ladies and gentlemen, Eve 6 is here tonight. We all look up. It's, of course, Eve Six getting shit-faced, drinking champagne. Here's to the night. Did they play one of the songs? Of course, they didn't didn't do any, like, needle drop on their their songs. Uh. But the most embarrassing part, they had the drummer strip ass butt naked. And guess what he had to do? Swing on the pole next to the table with his uh, his big old Eve Six drummer's dick. Is Eve Six wang out? The, so basically, I got. Is it to more see, than an Eve six? If you know what I mean. No, it wasn't. It was All about right. an Eve four. Okay, an Eve four. Eve Whoa. four, and he's stupid. <laughs> he, he he's drunkenly swinging around this pole. We're all just sitting there. His ball sweat probably hit me in the face. It's as closest to fame I probably ever will get. Okay. And that's my story. Is his the the drummer from Eve six? His dick was probably about I don't know maybe uh, eight feet away from me. Ah, yeah, so there, there you go. There, there you, go. you go. It's fun. All right. The old Eve 4. The oh. Eve 4, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Well, on that note, you know what I think it might be time for? Is it time to uh, uh, bring forth the clip? Clip. Clip. You know you want them, baby. You know we got them, baby. You know you want them, baby. You know we got them, baby. Clips. You know we got them, baby. Yeah, Clips is the time of the show where we take a look at all the (laughs) random stuff that our good buddy here, Tom, finds for us on the internet. Now, since you're here, Tom... What would you like us to even start with? It's it, you know I'll be honest, man. I with my travels, you don't remember what the I hell you totally sent me. I totally forgot. I did a kind of a drag and drop because I this morning I was sure. like, oh shit, I didn't send Owen clips. That's and I rushed fine. and I yeah. sent you a few. It's all good. It's all good. Let's I'll start... be as surprised as you, my friend. Yeah, well, that's always the best part about it. How about we start with uh, this? I guess a very questionable Wii game. Okay. Yeah. This uh, one yeah. 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 So remember, everybody remembers the Nintendo Wii. I kind of miss it. Honestly. Yeah. Did you have one? I had a. I had a Wii. I still got one here. Do you have one, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tie. Oh, of course. On occasion, our family will have a golfing. Yeah. Does your Does your family play this game, Ty? Yeah. Let's see. Let's I see. hope not. You, you know. You know they do. <laughs> we'll freak. We'll find out. <laughs> Okay. Is, this a, is it a family? Wait. What? Uh, what? What? 
trying to. Uh, the, what the, the, the fuck the, is going dude, on the, here? The, mo- the moist laughter is Caleb Bates. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Like, uh, okay. So is this a comfortable boner moment? We didn't get to. Talk yeah, we about didn't. We haven't. T- we'll talk about comfortable boners in the second segment. It's a good we'll segue. Get, yeah, okay. we'll get into that. But, but yeah, it looks like this is like some sort of. It's called We Dare debut commercial. Yeah, no, and, but it, how are they actuating that they're even doing anything? Yeah. So a guy is like, there's two people on a couch, like a hot chick and a dude. And then you've got, like, another guy in a fucking vest, by the way. With a tie that's <laughs> not a, even pulled yeah. all the way up, so you no. look like a choke. You can yeah. tell this is a Wii, like, a, for the Wii, and this was probably, what, circa, like, 2006, 7? Yeah. Like, that, that look was in, maybe. And maybe. he's and he's, use, he's holding, remember the strap that yeah. you put your, yeah, yeah you put your hand he's through like the strap. Yeah. Dangling it in between their faces. And yeah. they're pretending to nibble on it. Yeah, and they're... Uh, <laughs> And that dirty ass controller, y'all like pretending to bite it. And this isn't parody either, right? This is real. This is real. Okay. Oh wait, just wait. It's not real. We dare. Yeah, it's real time. No way. Okay. Uh, hey, now, okay, now the hot chick just put it. The controller in her ass crack. Oh, you want me to toss that? Oh, you're supposed to. S- oh, okay. I'll spank you. So, so this has to be a third party that created this game. I don't see Nintendo this isn't have created real. this you game. Are... I mean, I'll be honest. Wife swapping hasn't been ever this fun. No. Really. I mean, good I mean, lord. Or, or this complicated because it, it feels like some of these. Like you could play this game without the woman there. You can play it alone. Wow. All you have to do is really what? hit the controller. A lot of spanking. A lot of spanking. Oh, the girls are now spanking each other. Oh, oh. shit. Now he took off his dumb vest. Okay. All right. Oh, now they're stripping. Yeah. It's going there. It's really going there. Oh, parental code. Yeah. Okay. 6969. Nine, I did see there. It. Yeah, I just feel like they don't show you the after effects where they wake up in the morning regretting that they fucked each other's wives. Yeah. Yeah. Which ones are my keys? What's going on? This is, I mean, this is the Wii equivalent to a key party. It basically. is. So it it's is. A, yeah, it's it a sounds, Wii. Sounds like a ton of fun. And Wii again, key. they missed they missed Wii the boat key. on that. It should have been called Wii Key. Party. <laughs> and again, you can play this game yeah. from what I can see without any of the other people there. Mm. Just holding the oh the Apple thing. I'm just hold the controller. I mean, Mike. I guess it's not the point but, of the game, yeah. Mike. I don't, what I, are you gonna I, do? Put the Wii controller on your your schlong and spank it? Some yeah. games, some games are about the journey. It's not always about winning. Stupid. Some games are about the experience. This is, this is about copping some feels. Is what yeah. this is about. This is about your buddy's wife and you boning. No, this feels like something that you, both bone town. That one person out of each four. party doesn't want to do gets dragged to mm-hmm. then yeah, the moment yeah, something happens they flip out yeah that's and true. now the whole evening is ruined this is like an uncomfortable icebreaker thing like you go to that party and they're like let's play this like you know like there's always some yeah. slutty fucking person there that wants to like get freaky and you're like i guess we'll do this there's the swinger couple that you, you, you get predatory swinger couple. couple and now Therese is all uncomfortable i know i'm absolutely. into it <laughs> <laughs> i know i'm into you're it you're trying to be like <laughs> oh but like let's we're leaving now our, what we're having fun yeah, we're why do we have to go look will you guys should we get this game Apple, nibble the remote together. It's yeah. fun. Hey, come, on. come on. Let me put my dick even, out by the even... remote in your face and over you... the... It's going to be great. And you know it's all fun until one of those guys whips his dick out. And they're like, whoa, wait, hey, no one dashed oh, you to do that. Yay. <laughs> Parker Paramore in the chat. The journey to strep throat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Bad, now, well. next clip, next clip. Uh, this one's called Teenage Boy in Town. Teenage Boy in we Town. We all were that at one time. Teenage boy I'm just town. a teenage boy in town. AKA what we they would text to Michael Jackson uh, every week. Okay. That definitely just looks like an old woman. Older woman, sorry. <laughs> I think she's banging, but whatever. Yeah, Ty, Ty's all about this transsexual. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> she's, she's speaking God, Ty, English. That bar is so low, bro. Dude, she's cute. <laughs> Come on. Her Look. eyes are two different Look at heights. That sweet eyebrow that she drew. Asian in. Eastern fucking Wonder Woman over here. The uh-huh. fuck? Yeah. He is so sexy looking. His trousers are hot and soft. And he's saying those wild 
She's pretty horny. She, she'd play that game. Mama, I'm Alfie. Dude, she would play the game. There are only she two... She has played the game. There are only two years of teenagerdom where she can even look at. Yeah. Yeah, this is that, a, but this is the year of uncomfortable boners right here. I that teenage boy face. No, or, I thought we said uh, we were gonna go back to having comfortable boners. Well, this is not comfortable. I'm pretty comfortable. I, yeah. I know. I feel good. I don't know about you. I, I, how awkward is it to be shopping in the mall right now? Like, what yeah, is this yeah. fucking lady while doing? they're while they're having this video <laughs> shoot. No, there's no releases for any of these fucking people. No, that kid right there is like, I'm he's into sue it. Somebody, no, he, that kid's he, into he's it. He's looking at a whole handful of ass right now. That kid. I think that's my brother when he was younger. <laughs> is that right? Really get yeah. Out of control. When he walks, traffic stops, and he know the boys got. Is that the security guy coming up to her? Bam. He is so sexy looking. Oh. His trousers are hard as old. Yo, shout out to Inner Sport for that free advertisement right there. <laughs> this is straight up cougar shit, right? No, this, this is, is mad fun. cougar this shit. Is this statutory is statutory rape cougar I, shit. I, I yeah. want to deem this kind of music cougar core. Cougar core. It's yeah. cougar core. Yeah. <laughs> Cougar Wave, perhaps. Look at all these free fucking like product placements. What's your name? Cafe bar. Look at these people. I just want to get to know you. The mothers are all like grabbing their children away from her, like, come here, don't come here. Well, Tom, you know that originally she did ask them if she could use their businesses, and they're like, oh, so what are you gonna be singing about? She's like, oh, the hot new teenage boy in town. Fucking teens. <laughs> She's got the fucking TJ Maxx behind her. I like a good TJ Maxx. Who doesn't? Uh, They're like, great. I like a good TJ I would even go to the depths of a Marshalls. Uh, I, I'm a Ross guy, too. Oh, yeah. Fair yeah. Enough. On occasion. Fair enough. A little poorer than that. I'm a Bell's guy. <laughs> Bell's Outlet was the, yeah, where was, I got all of my no goals. Go to back to school yeah, absolutely. shopping done. Um, yes. If I couldn't this find is it. so awkward. If I couldn't find it at the Salvation Army or the Goodwill, then I would... Venture, uh, into, a venture Bells. into a Bells yeah, and be yeah, like, maybe, maybe I can get an off, off <laughs> brand pair but of Vans. She's literally talking about like a new hot 15 yeah, year old. Yeah, that is. kid looks like he just got his learner's permit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and he looks uncomfortable and lost. And honestly, I don't <laughs> think he's that sexy. I think I can't even see I him. Have I don't seen, know what he looks like. It's so dark. I have seen <laughs> sexier teen boys than that. I, have, I will agree. I, will agree. I, I think I have seen <laughs> yeah. sexier teen boys. Yeah, he's well, about we six. all have Owen. He's Jeez. about six. six. We, we live in Florida. Oh yeah, they just run go to Cocoa Beach what and was that just, shot. It's high rack. It's high rack. Yeah. <laughs> Big, big, baby. You, you know McDon or Burger King is sending her a cease and assist. Yeah, why are you using our advertising? <laughs> Please part don't of your sing story? about fucking teen boys. Oh, you do not want to be associated with young teenage boys and your horrible voice. It's, it's just been the same shot. Have you noticed that? It's just been the that same shot. Is going like, what and the looking fuck? like this. He just turns his head. Yeah. She's got a high power <laughs> lens like, and she's actually taking this shot from like three houses down. He's like, and he's is like, this, is this old bitch trying to fuck me? Right. Like, like, she just asked him if he's ever done anal. He's like, what? Well, that's a little far. I mean, I, like, wow. I had a hand job once. Like, uh, it I, was uncomfortable. Yeah. Ma'am, I'm just your pizza delivery driver. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Get, calm down. <laughs> Mine's about to be uh, all over. Uh, 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 That's the noise that happens right when the world ends. <laughs> the siren song. Your throat. Boy, that was a fucking garbage fire. Love. Oh, that's a good one. Glad you. Yeah, I'm glad, glad I found that one. That. Absolutely. Uh, I, what is that? What is that? Like, what? She's just taking these random yeah, shots. Just, you know, a change machine yeah. into something. Uh, a yeah. Kang machine. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Easy Pass has the worst on hold music I've ever heard. All right, let's see. All right. It. Easy Pass. Hear it, more or less. Yeah. So, like, yeah, everybody's had it. Please hold for the next available customer service representative. So, wait, is Easy Pass like the, like, our, our, uh, E pass, whole thing. E pass, sun yeah, pass, yeah, yeah. whatever the fuck. I actually think that's a. If I can remember, I think it's a northeastern. Uh, it's like the sun pass. I think easy okay. pass is like yeah. a New York and Massachusetts, right. uh, you right. know, program. Uh, I think it has other states. Too, Probably, though, yeah. They're, like they're in widely the used. All right, yeah. let's, let's check it out. Thank you for calling Easy Pass. 
This is the music, huh? It's pretty good. Wait a minute. It's not. I wouldn't. The, this is like the kind of shit that like activates the Manchurian candidate. <laughs> it's the sort of shit that is clearly meant for you to hang up. Uh, to, like, yeah, to get wait. you to hang up. Like they don't want to talk to like anyone. To, it, like the Winter Soldier is activated by that shit. Like I know that was fucked up. <laughs> Begin programming. Holy or is shit. it? Or is it like one of those? You know, like there's the African language where they go the, 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 the click, like, like Starvin Marvin did. Swahili. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that's what it is. It's some guy singing in Swahili. It's pretty dope. <laughs> I could make this. Must kill. Must kill Joe Biden. What the fuck? You know, usually... please enjoy this relaxing music. Oh usually, that interruption of "please hold" the next Fucking available operator. Is there a tie? Like, usually, that's the part I hate about these waiting so things. I, I enjoy it now. You know, it's a I work in a reprieve. factory like that bullshit right there, and it's like I can't imagine that's what they're. It's so listening horrible. to for like twenty minutes before it, they. Talk. What's the hang up rate? How many people are just hanging up? Well, after that's that? the point, yeah, right? right? It's totally Absolutely. the point. Nineties, ninety-five percent. Like, because you have you, you call you're calling this line because you have like a three a dollar dispute. Absolutely, like so this, you guys charge is, me three dollars more. To the DMV and you got to get your fucking toll straight before you get your license. Yeah, yeah, something like that. But still, like, I'll just pay the fine. Like, oh so I don't God. have to, I Absolutely, don't have to hear this. Dude. Yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah. hi, I had a hang up after 10 minutes of that clicking. It drove me crazy. <laughs> I drove to the nearest toll booth operator and blew him away. I will never run a toll a fucking again in my life. You guys win. You win. You do win. You win. Yeah. It's yeah. like waterboarding. It's just fucking awful. No, that, what if you turn into like a back roads only? Yeah, I had to sit on a phone call one time with Easy Pass. <laughs> Only back. Never doing it again. Yeah. Never Dawn. doing it again. Never yeah. using them. Never. No. Never. All right. We got uh, this next one here. This is uh, a change right termite commercial in Thailand. All right. Uh, I imagine hey, they, they do it well. Do you think they have? They they probably got a pretty bad termite problem. Termite. Oh, yeah. yeah let's, let's check it out. <laughs> oh, look at this guy. Uh oh. He is a man dressed as a termite. <laughs> Eating the house, you know. Oh, oh, oh. that looks like Taiwanese raid. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I need to get some of this shit. This this is awesome. Uh oh. Termite man is not feeling too good after being sprayed with that. It's the Mike B of termites. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Where are you going? He says. <laughs> He's leaving. Yeah. No, bro. He's going back home. What for? Oh. Don't you want to die? Go back and tell them. What Chandra is? Chandra is oh. trash. Holy spit! Oh, that's a sassy fucking termite. That is a sassy termite. Kudos for the, like the the costume. Yeah, absolutely. Like, costume department. The, the production the value screen. is pretty high for a termite commercial. The score yeah. sounds amazing. It's like it's like the it's like the Avengers Endgame of fucking termite commercials. I agree. It's pretty good. <laughs> Terminex could learn a thing or two yeah, here in the states. Yeah, commercials. Yeah. Uh oh. It's brother. He's gone back to his family. The closest thing we had to this was like the hey, '90s Orkin yeah, Man commercials. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, but they're all gonna die. One we may die. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, faked him out, killed them all. Motherfuckers are all because he took it back to him. He that's took what it. a good. That's what any good uh, insect spray yeah. does. It just takes it back to the nest. That's like the Amdro that I yeah, use on my right. ants. Oh, that's I that's love. Awful. I love sprinkling that. You sadistic oh. ass. Oh, it's you the like best. to watch him take the grains yeah. inside though. He, he gets a magnifying glass and he watches oh, the their last little crawl. Like, <laughs> Absolutely, it's, it's like it's ant genocide, bro. It's crazy. All right, he's dead. Bah. One touched. Oh. Love You'll die. Once touched, you die. Man, he brought it back to his family. These poor termites, though. 
Oh. Foaming at the mouth. A big crescendo ending. We'll kill everybody. It's dramatic. I'm invested in these characters now. I know, right? Amazing, dude. Don't kill him. Man. Uh, Hollywood needs to like make this into a, a tentpole I, property. I'd watch a feature film of this. Of the termites? Yeah. Oh, look at a lot of them. Oh man. Yeah. That's genocide. They should have okay, the only complaint I have with this is that they needed to have made the lead termite character slightly unlikable and evil. I agree with that. You know, I like they made that. him yeah. too, He's nice. too nice. He's too nice. Too nice? Like, too I don't nice. want that termite to die. Yeah, I'm invested in him. Now I'm invested. I know. So, like, he needed to be more of a yeah. villain termite. Yeah, he needed yeah, to be but a heel. Maybe, maybe yeah. the goal is to get you invested, though. Make him invested a in killing them? Make him Donald Rumsfeldy. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, like an evil, very, very old relevant. looking yeah. termite. Yeah. Like, old and gross. Oh, uh, God, we only wish we could just spray Donald Rumsfeld and he would go back to fucking Congress and kill all these other white, crusty assholes. Someone sprayed him with something. Oh. Why? Why? I, I guess uh, I guess this is probably for me, and me, you, and Ty here, uh, this next clip. This is uh, Ostro Shamanatus with oh. his quit smoking motivational uh, okay. commercials. What? Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, How's oh. he going to motivate That's me to quit smoking? <laughs> Okay, this is not working. I want to smoke more. I actually want to get a drink and smoke a cigarette. And party to this. Uh, I want to, yeah. I, I, I want to boob. I want to boob while smoking a cigarette to this song. Just I love the Eleanor Roosevelt quote. Yeah, what's that? Why is that there? Uh, I don't know. Uh, you must do the thing you think you cannot do. Quote by <laughs> Eleanor, Eleanor Roosevelt. Roosevelt. Yeah, I'm pretty. Pretty uh, modern, up-to-date reference it's for pretty the good. kids. And I'm pretty sure she was probably smoking as well. Everyone smoked in that time. Yeah. Even Eleanor Roosevelt. I, I was going to say, I don't think I could smoke one more cigarette. It worked. I got to do it, though. Oh, it's, I think I need a break. Here. Lady <laughs> Roosevelt told me to. Yeah, you did. Yeah. You can do it. Who this the fuck is that smoke, guy? Right? I don't know. That's Astro Shaw... Shamanatus or whatever. Shaman Astro Shamanatus? He yeah. looks like Brian May and fucking uh Ronnie James Dio up fucked and had a that's, Yeah, that's not far <laughs> off. That's not far yeah, off. Astro Shamanat. We'll leave on this one. This is apparently a pretty dope Pink Floyd cover, I think. Yeah. Hey, those are some big shoes to fill. Those are pretty hey. big shoes. All right, let me, what let's you got? check it out. Let's you got? check it out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need no education. Nailing it. Killing it. Nailing it. Awesome. Yeah. We don't need no voice control. I want to get married again just so I can have this guy come play my wedding. You guys walk out to this song. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold on. They're just playing Pink Floyd, right? And he's just lip syncing. No, no, no. no. Rich no, 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 no. I mean, I could see how you would be, you know, confused because it is such a perfect copy of oh, the it's of barely Pink Floyd. A, it's I mean, barely a cover. I, I close my it's, eyes and it's Roger Waters. Yeah, I, I think yeah. it's. I mean, the instrumentation, especially. It's incredible. Like, I wouldn't guess. It's Not for a fucking minute. Oh, right there too. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Yes, it's got the, it's got the echo down. Yes. You better leave him alone, motherfucker. He looks like he's got tiny fingers. Oh, yeah. Chat room says composed by Hans Zimmer. Uh, also, he need, he needs an education. <laughs> he auditioned for the termite role and he didn't get it, so he's, he's turned to this. I wonder who his banner contact is. It's a pretty sweet banner he's got back there. Yes. Hey, nice, nice Alô, que deu. Bahia. Já tô hein? foi uma aulinha, hein? What's it called? Gl Se eu consegui. Imagine você, hein? Glyph. I'm not trying to pronounce that. Glyph Brawley. Glyph Brawley? Oh, uh, I'm a huge Glyph Brawley fan, bro. Me too. Now. Teacher, thank you. Teacher. I love you. Aqui deu. Like, I was a new on his thing. New. 
He's doing better than like we're doing. He's got a look at how big and good his banner is. That is a yeah, shit, bro. That is a bigger banner than I have. And Go everyone knows Glaif Brawley on YouTube. Give the guy some views. Everyone knows for podcasting, the bigger your banner, oh, yeah. the more like fucking the shit, the bro. Better bro. your podcast is. Yeah, and, and you have two giant banners too. Uh, yeah, but this guy's banner, way better than my banner. Oh, like, he's got I, this little he's got like this little cartoon caricature of himself. Yeah, I can't fuck with that. He's got the music notes. He's got the new on the Glaive Brawley ain't nothing to fuck with. Is no. basically what he's saying there. He's a media mogul if I've ever seen one, man. Well, all right, nice hey. job, gentlemen. Any anyway, guys, that was clips. Clips, clips. You know you want them, baby. You know we got them, baby. You know you want them, baby. You know we got them, baby. Clips. You know we got them, baby. Yeah, that was a good clips, Tom. Uh, I'd, I'd give it. Um, you're giving yourself a rating. Yeah, I would rate it. Um, <laughs> He's gonna give himself a rating. This is weird. This is like Listen, a loaded. I, I, I set a very, meta. very, very high bar for myself. Oh, okay. And I would say, from being here live, reactions, participation from the chat room, mm. overall, uh, kind of a, allotment, assortment of clips. I would say it's gonna fall somewhere in the register of a a seven point eight. I'm going 8.5. I'm going way higher than that. I think it's a solid 8.5, probably because of that termite commercial. Okay. Like oh, that, that one so really good. got me. And the last one, which okay. the voice of an angel. Glaive Brawley brought it home. I, I know I know that Ty is usually your harshest critic. He's so, very harsh. So we'll save but him he for a lot at the fucking uh I, the whole I, I music love one. Tom. I've seen Tom evolve from uh, <laughs> seen him evolve? Thank you. Ty, I've seen Ty's him been one of my biggest from a supporters. Human who enjoyed things that were always awesome to things that are awesome now that we've <laughs> been atoned through awesomeness, if that makes sense. Wow, okay. I love that, Ty. You're speaking at my funeral. So, so Tom, Tom sets a high bar for himself in my eyes. If that I makes have to, sense. Ty. Yeah, uh, I can't live with myself if I don't. And I'm not gonna lie, I do, I do go a little harsh, but this felt really good. It's okay. Tom's Tom's given a seven point eight, which makes yeah. me just a little blush. Are we gonna play the music for this guy sometime Dude, soon? You like, know what? Get this. I, I feel yeah, like you get this roll. thing going. Like what do we? Eight point two for me. Eight point two. That's Christ. flattering coming from Ty. Thank you, Ty. This oh, really felt you, good. I did. And I know you. that you were probably rushed. You, you I know, was. You know, it sure. wasn't much yeah. thought, but thank you very much. Mm, well, that. now after that monologue, um, <laughs> I'm just going to give you a simple 8.6. <laughs> thank you, Mike. All yeah. right. Yeah. Thank you. Jesus, Jesus very Christ. Much. Solid score. You, solid score. You, I awesome. like it. I like very it. Very solid. Very solid. We are about <laughs> up, uh, you know, on uh, uh, up on our break here. Breaky it's about poo. Yeah, it's about time uh, I need to pee and uh, grab another beer, have some Breaka milk. All those types of things. Sorry. We're doing a late, much later show than we typically do, but hey, yeah, it's only every once in a while you get Tom Barilli. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Studio, and uh, fuck my so. Lyft driver, by the way, too. Yeah, so fuck well, that guy. Yeah, fuck that guy. Fuck, fuck Lyft in general right now. It's so expensive and ridiculous. Uh, but before we go to break, I did want to quickly mention some huge news mm. that I posted on our uh, Facebook group yesterday. Guys, for in the Ono Radio Show universe, how excited oh, could yeah. we possibly be oh, that's pretty rad. for Colonial Lanes yeah. coming back, back baby. Back in action, baby. Coming back. Somebody's bought them. Yeah. They're, they're new gonna, management, right? New management. Right. It's not been open for ooh, a good. I feel like after the, the 300th, but... they were forced to shut it down, actually. That was the kind yeah. of rumor mill. It was like we just uh, well, we, they... we had permeated the air. They actually brought in priests to do exorcisms. People were dying. <laughs> <laughs> I, know I know you're I know you're kind of joking, but if you remember, it was like three weeks after we had our event. They had the whole plumbing <laughs> situation. Like they had a flood. Like the that plumbing was a, flood. That was an Ono Radio Show fans turd. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh yeah. Someone Only one of our fans finally... took a shit that bad uh -huh. that destroyed... It destroyed the whole bowling alley. The whole like, bowling it's alley. not been open since. And then it was so bad that they were like, we can't even. It's it would go, we would go broke fixing this. We have to shut down. So <laughs> thankfully somebody <laughs> bought it. Uh, now. Wow. You were you were saying it's uh, it's like Mathers or something? Yeah, Mathers Social Gathering. Has anybody else ever I've known never heard Mathers? of it? No, no absolutely. never even heard of it. No, I, I don't, mean, I don't know what that is. It's a good bar. Don't get me wrong. Like, first of all, they serve at? great drinks, but it's uh, uh fuck. Um, 
it's closer to downtown, but not right downtown. Oh no, I think it's over by like where um, Falcon was and shit. Oh, I like Thornton Parky type area. That... Yeah, but but they they have burlesque there. That's mm. what, okay. That's interesting what's to remember. And Two interesting the, tastes. Like all burlesque the best and bowling. When it comes to burlesque shit, like Mathers has a really good line. Okay. okay. That's an interesting endorsement. And, mm. and honestly, there's money in a burlesque and bowling. Dude, uh, I'm saying, man. All right. Thing. This is like, what I have where, heard. It's I think only, it could work. Did you hear it's only going to be like eight lanes? No, oh, I didn't. That's interesting. What? So they're so they're getting rid of lanes to what? Put in a stage? Probably. Well, I, d- I don't know any other details but that, but I read that like. Uh, earlier today and I was sort of surprised because it seems like eight what lanes, was I what mean, was it it would have been way more than eight lanes oh, at yeah, least yeah, 12 yeah. at I least would 12 think. yeah I think there this was is probably 16 lanes. maybe sure. you might be right on the 12 lanes thing. 12 to 16 I think it was somewhere. more than 12 but maybe maybe yeah. but even 12 was... seems small like you've seen yeah, you've definitely yeah, seen yeah. like 30 yeah, lane alleys yeah, I, bet you, I bet you it was like 16 somewhere in that region but if they took out if they're only doing eight so they're taking out half the lanes if it was 16 then there's a lot of room for activities including Yo. burlesque shows all I'm saying is if there's like a lane for a burlesque lady while I have my lane for bowling yeah. and there's good music going on. Titties and bowling. Hey, Dude, I mean, that I, is a pretty good combination. It feels like this is going to be a place boner. where yeah. we're going to have to do a second a comeback. event. Absolutely. And, and trust me, the wheels, as soon as they saw that, the wheels started a turning in <laughs> Owen's brain. Uh, so, yeah, no. Uh, Absolutely. If they're open in time, maybe we just do the Hall of Fame ceremony at the bowling alley. Ooh, baby. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe we'll combine combine both events. We don't know yet, but uh, we'll let you know when we do. Guys, uh, we are taking a break. It is, what time is it right now? 1046. Let's call it right after 11 o'clock. We will be back Boom. with more Oh No Radio show. Let's go ahead and fire up the 80s retro wave music because I like it and it's fun. And, uh, it's retro okay. wave. Uh, like I said, we'll be back in uh, just a few minutes. It's super fun having you in the studio, it's been Tom. A blast, man. Always fun, always fun. And uh, yeah, what do we say when we get out of here for the first segment, boys? Flags on the wall, there's a unicorn to represent it. Fuck your dreams. Fuck your dreams. See it just a few, we love it.
It's me, it's Ty, it's Mikey, and it's Tom motherfucking Barilli hey. here in studio. Who's Let me, uh, trying to get this music turned down here a little it's bit. It's so man. fucking epic. I love it. I know. I love it. Welcome to the second segment where things get weird. Yeah, and uh, fucking bonkers. Well, what the hell? We were we were gonna talk about some shit, and I've already forgot what the hell we were gonna talk about when we came back uh, with this second segment. Tom uncomfortable boners. boners. Ah, yes. The, uh, the he c- goes comfortable. I go uncomfortable. So yeah, we were talking about comfortable boners, uh-huh. and yeah, and if you yeah. can have a comfortable boner around a friend or not and uh mm. i'm gonna vote with a big no on that i don't know that i've ever <laughs> had a comfortable boner around another another you just, buddy you just never uh, shared like a boner yeah. like you around didn't like male share friend. it out like you didn't pop your right. dick out but like you've never just like been in the presence of another person both acknowledged you've had boners and no. like <laughs> This is okay. I've been, I've, I've had very limited like yeah. strip club uh, type experiences. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a, a very comfortable boner. That would be the yeah, most yeah. comfortable of boners that I. It's think It's a mutual I've... boner understanding, standing. Yeah, I, I, I still don't. I, I, like even oh. when I like on my bachelor party, right? Like, <laughs> I didn't. Oh, I was. I was. There. I. You were there. Ty I had, about a, about Ty, Ty you had boner? a boner the whole fucking night. I, did, I didn't get a boner. Oh, I mean, right. I, I got a no? good. You I got a good lap dance, and you I didn't got, get any 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 stiffness there. I think I almost got kicked out for like. Smacking a girl on her ass. Oh yeah, you don't smack. Yeah, like, you unless do she that? says I, I, you I don't can touch smack. those people. It was a light. It was a light <laughs> tap. You know, it was uh, just a little. Flick. No, but see, that's the weird thing because I've I've only been to two strip clubs. Okay, and I've had lap dances at both. Uh huh. And one of them, the girl was basically just didn't say anything. Yeah. Just sat Correct down and kind of did her thing. Yeah. Right. Very and professional. That was, at, that was at the inner room in Coco. We also went. I've also been to Cheaters in Cocoa Beach, mm. and I had two Classic. lap dances there. Oh yeah, um, <laughs> and one of the girls was like, "Don't touch me at all. Yeah. I will <laughs> pretty much control what will be 
like pushed on you. I'll control the situation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm and driving. You're along for the ride. Sure. Yeah. And the other stripper was just like, don't touch my pussy. Oh, there's the rules. Lab dance. All right. Yeah, that was well, they, the only they, rule. Yeah. But you could grab her boobs a little bit. You yeah, could do some yeah, rubbing. Absolutely. Yes. Oh, yeah. She kind of like... Put my, because I was kind of, oh, yeah. I don't really. I was told like you're not. I'm not supposed to touch you at all. Do you hear and Tom? What? <laughs> Bank? Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah. trust me. There's been some very interesting situations at trip clubs where I was like, this oh, is okay. Me too, man. Okay. <laughs> all right. Canada too, but I say Canada, baby. Is Montreal. that like oh. we're talking like champagne room scenario or? Uh, just like wow, we they do this here. Okay. DJs in the back. Or what do we? Oh. What do we Talking. I don't know. I was I left a very satisfied customer. I was okay. incredibly shocked, but okay. I had said nothing. Mum's the word. See, I, I think my, part of my problem was with my bachelor part. I've been to one strip club, and it was Dancers Royale, and it was on Dancers Royale at, off of Fifty there, on Colonial, yeah, on, off of Colonial there, and um, and Ty was there, and, and, and of course, I, I oh, yeah, <laughs> in I Ty fashion, I imagine Ty lived there at one point. No, so, no, not true, but. I did go on occasion. So on occasion. I don't think the, the dance I got was necessarily from a quote unquote stripper. Now, of course, she was a stripper, but like there's a designation. <laughs> she was a patron. She was no, just no, no. there. <laughs> she was just there oh, dancing on you. Money. Giving you, and you're giving her money. <laughs> she was more like. She was She's more, like a dance prostitute, a dance mom. She was like a bar, Floozy. bar back, flat, yeah, like a bar, like tender, like she was a cert- shot girl, kind of, yeah, it was one of those. Like there were the strippers, and then there were like the, the Why cocktail did she grind up on you. you well, I, I guess because me. it was my bachelor party and what have hey, you. I'm gonna get him to order a three hundred dollar bottle of champagne. <laughs> it was it was an eighty five dollar <laughs> bottle of Jack Daniels. Wow. To, to be able to get a uh, a table. Oh yeah, they always fuck you on the uh-huh. fucking liquor prices. Oh, and I got you beat. Me, my friend Will and I, when we went to Cheaters, mm. paid three hundred dollars for oh. a bottle of champagne to go sit in a raised booth. Yes, that yes. was the <laughs> VIP area uh-huh, where uh-huh. Eve Six sat. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, they and paid a then lot of money. and then the strippers who showed up. Proceeded to drink all of our champagne in a fucking heartbeat. Yeah, that's well, and then hang kicked, on, here. and then they kicked us out of the booth because we didn't want to buy another bottle of but champagne. But you drank my champagne. That's what I told uh, them. Now that, I feel like you got fucking played. <laughs> yeah, I'd have been well, pissed. I was, yeah, I was very young and. Now that's an uncomfortable Piss boner. Drunk. That there you go. That's an uncomfortable yeah. boner. I'd yeah. be so uncomfortable that I got fucking had. I had a friend Fuck in you. in college that thought it was like appropriate and cool to be able to like he would have like small house parties. We're talking maybe, you know, six, seven, eight people. Like we're all going over there getting high. That's like a drunk. gathering. Yeah, like it's a, a gathering. Yeah, a gathering. gathering. Party. Yeah. But yeah. but they were all always all it's always old dudes. Mm. And then he A bro th- storm. Yeah. And then he throw <laughs> and then he throw <laughs> the pornos on on the couch. Mm, okay, uh, this is what I wanted to get to. So so like a porn watching party. This is what you wanted to get to? What? <laughs> okay. So okay, with the prevalence of the f- like phones and the internet being yeah. in your pocket. Comfortable. There donors. aren't that many like times where like you watch pornography yeah, with somebody true. else. No. Yeah. Now back but it seems like back in like the sixties, seventies, and eighties. That was the these thing. Stag parties where it's like, yes, yeah, we're right, gonna right. get a all stag these. Stag party was very much just like, hey, there's porn yeah. on in the background. There's people fucking on a video, and you I guys and like dudes like parties. sat around it's together. Not really that good though, it's kind of weird. <laughs> no, I, see, Those, I don't like that. Yeah, hence stag films. If I'm gonna yeah. watch a porno, it's for a purpose, and I don't need other people around. Like, but that should be unless they're assisting the purpose because it just comes exactly. with the territory. Like, yo, yeah. bro, hey, man, that movie was on. I can't make it stop. It happened. It's cool. we're bros. This is a bro boner. I'll accept a broner. it. A broner. I'll mm-hmm. accept I'll accept the broner a little bit to a degree, but, but I it's don't... like if your friend like bumps into you and then all of a sudden you have a rock hard fucking Johnson. I feel like there's we gotta have a talk, man. Or... There was no there was no video on. There or... was nothing happening. My touch aroused you. Oh, weird. Yeah, <laughs> I tapped you Un- on the shoulder. And uncomfortable then s- boner. There's I tapped one. you on the shoulder and then slid behind you, and now you're telling me you've got a 
It's like, hey, man, remember when we went in that one amusement park ride where we sat like you sat behind me? And oh, the, I felt you're on the, we're on the log flume together. Yeah, there you go. I went in the, Remember that Disney log flume night, man? And mm. like you, I felt your erection. Can we yeah. talk about log that? Jamming. Yeah. Splash Mountain, baby. And that's like, an uncomfortable boner. And that should be uh, – they should make a reality TV show where just bros confront each other on those evenings. Like, bro, you remember that time? Like, dramatic music. You're like, yeah, yeah, I remember, man. Let's dun, talk dun, about dun, that. Dun. Uncomfortable boner. Uncomfortable boner. Yeah. Yeah, we got to get – we got to hash this out. I don't if you can talk to your bro about your uncomfortable boner, you win twenty five thousand dollars. <laughs> and see, like, I guess my boner Still guys would fail. <laughs> brought Still... to you by Trojan. I, I guess what I'm saying too is that, like, once upon a time, like high school age, mm. like there would be the random boner. Oh, that you would were happen. popping be- boners. Yeah, yeah. I mean, right. the, a small breeze got you hard. Yes, exactly. Like waistband boners. Remember if, those? You had to get up to, from class. You were like, I can't let these other girls see. How my dick is literally just at full mass. But, and let's break that down for a second, because wouldn't you literally like if we're, if we're being smart about it? Wouldn't you want them to know that like yeah, I wish yeah, I, I've got okay. a boner and it works. I, I want to preface it. If I knew now, or if I knew if I knew what I, that would have led to, then I would have been absolutely letting that freak flag fly. Okay. Absolutely, I hit oh, it. I hit it up. out of shame. I would have stood up. I would have answered every question. Because you like, know, the girls would have been like, "Did you see Tom's dick just like?" Staring me in the face when he stood up at social studies, you know. Then all the girls are talking about it. But I, I don't. I, that's sort of <laughs> that's acceptable when you're younger. I don't think it's acceptable now. No. If, if as a 35 year old male, pl- oh no, you, you don't. I don't think I'm you can. Around my office with just a giant <laughs> erection. <laughs> I don't think you can. Hey man, that. oh, didn't mean to poke you there. I was just going for the coffee machine. Yeah, yeah, because like so <laughs> knocking over cups of coffee because you're standing too close to the desk. Or, well, like it, it's Damn. I don't know why, but for some reason the office at my job where the managers do mm. their shit, like the desk kind of sits oh, low. Shit. So they sit pretty low at the desk. So when you Dick pop, height. when yeah. you pop into the office to ask somebody a question, they're yeah, basically unless they gaze up, they're looking at you pretty much in your dick. Right. That's not that's not cool. I tell you what though, I look at people's dicks. Like I'll look, I'll look like <laughs> like uh, the outline, yeah, like yeah, an yeah. outline of a schlong. Yeah, I'll look at uh, it. I'll fair. be like, oh, look at that, like, dude. Like, I definitely notice like when some dude just got a a big a old hog, uh, yeah. a hogger, uh, what, like got an ana- out, anaconda. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've noticed like it. It's there, bro. Uh, it's I, very you know clearly. Yeah, there. you know what's even more weird is when I remember uh, I was out with Catherine one time. We were just at a restaurant and. An old, it was weird because the guy was like an older gentleman. I would say mm. he's like you know my dad's age, and he walked over and past his boner age. Fucking Wang was so just prevalent. It was just it was there. there. <laughs> it was like I felt like it was gonna bring me a refill of my water. It was just so <laughs> fucking crazy. And I mean, both just looked at each other, just like mm, yeah, fucking yeah. dick. Holy shit! Like, yeah, yeah. and it was almost uncomfortable because I was like, we were both just <laughs> and like we're eating. I'm like, I can't stop looking at it. I, gotta, I can't stop looking at I'll, it. I'll say this, my my good friend <laughs> Travis, right? My good friend Travis. He has told me before, he's like, yeah, my, my ween is average, but I've got, like, really big balls. Like, like uh, for whatever reason. He's got like, the mammal toe. He's got, like, large, large testicles. Big tests. And I've noticed. Like, I'm like, yeah. I've seen him. I, I, you didn't have to actually he's tell me. smuggling like, bocce balls yeah, in there. Yeah. Good like, gracious. He's, he's a ballman. And, uh, yeah, and balls. I'll tell you, like you know, the 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 penis. It's it, it's like a you know a, a gardener snake. It'll hide in your pants, but balls. Oh, yeah. will you'll see some balls. Well, there's no like for me. I'm I'm definitely. I've always said this. I'm a I'm a grower, not a shower, and, and mm-hmm. like I'm I'm very proud of my my erections yeah, when yeah, they absolutely. when I get there. Absolutely, but I but I'm <laughs> very very proud. Very proud. But but I'm not a yeah. I'm not you know. I'm I'm I'm, I'm uh, what's the term? Um, uh, humble. Like it's very humble That's down there for humble. the for yeah. the most most okay. of the time Absolutely. and uh, and i don't i have I, you know i i don't have the biggest of balls but i have noticed big that, like, balls like i like my grower not shower status will will definitely like kind of like be a little bit more subdued Whereas with balls, you can't really like you got big balls, you can't really hide them. Yeah. Like you know, it's not it's not coming and going. It's and, not. And it's, it's, our testi- Okay, I mean this could be you know purely um, a scientific question, but mm. like just how like the penis can become 
flaccid and hard. Yeah. I think even balls can like tighten and, and yes, they, they definitely can and loosen. You know, like there's probably a jigglier ball. I have had good ball sack, days. Tighter, tighter had, sack. Yeah, I've had good ball right. days and bad ball days. Yeah, you Dude, know? those those real hot days when it just seems like your balls ah, just kind of like they yeah, they just look like a hound dog's or, lips. Or if you haven't jerked it in a while, maybe they <laughs> fill up a little bit more and then Mil- you, you need a milking. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. yeah, yeah. Then yeah. you get a more full ball, and I feel it's like kind of. Gravi- yeah, just gravity. Gravity. Balls and are just weird. Yeah, there's a balls it's so are weird. weird. It's weird. Even in like even like certain kinds of porn. Like you watch porn and yeah. you're just so distracted. Like, Christ, this guy's balls. They're just like they're too a, much. It's a symphony okay. of balls. It's Real too quick. much balls. Uh, I mean, we've all watched porn in our days. No. <laughs> so you know how like okay, so your ear. There are some people that have the detached earlobe. Yeah, and some people have like the <laughs> attached ear. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah, yeah. I feel you. like there are some guys where their ball sack is just like, Joop, down, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's down. Just like absolutely ball sack. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, yeah. But absolutely. I feel like some guys get this like bat wing, like back into the gooch. That it comes like it goes further back. Yeah, like yeah. a webbed, an overtly webbed ball sack. Yeah. I'd agree with this, Mikey. Uh, actually, that's I'd crazy. I'm gonna be dissecting like, porn now for weeks. <laughs> I think I've put a lot of research into the topic. Yeah. Just, yeah man. Casual I would, observation. I would, write, I would write a thesis on that. That's what are your good. balls? What are your balls like, Ty? Like uh, I'm, I'm trying to think about. I it think I've got the fin. I think uh, I've got the because you don't. Fin. You don't. Gonna, he's gonna look at his balls in the mirror like a woman looks at her vagina well, after this. <laughs> just Ty, stretch them out. Completely. You're beautiful. Ty can also help a lot with the science of this as well because we're talking about like the balls filling up with like semen, yeah. like and, which and is so, weird for me. Because yeah, because I, you don't do, come. You don't. Well, you, you, I do ejaculate, he poops. but not the same way. Like it goes in and then out. It's an aerosol. Yeah, so it's 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 difficult to understand. I, I still in. have. I mean, basically, Ty's that, penis that sneezes. <laughs> yeah, it goes. It goes. Hey. It's like a, it's like if a chick's if a chick's jerking him off, it just cuts to her and her hair blows like. <laughs> It's like a hair dryer. So, so with you away. not ejaculating as much as, or you know, like with your diabetes and everything, do your <laughs> balls fill up the same? Like, are they Ball just of full? Beanies. Are they full? I don't. I mean, they're they're like are good they balls. Yeah, they're they're not like crazy overloaded mammary balls. Right, but I was they're gonna say. Balls. Do chicks like balls? Some chicks like balls. Dude, yeah, some sometimes chi- some chicks know? like the the the, the vanity of. I've even had chicks ask, like, do you like looking up at you? Like, do you like when I'm, of course I like when you lick my balls. Yeah, That's a I'm okay with that. Absolutely. Well, I'm I'm think even, good I think it. even if I don't really like super duper enjoy it, I'm going to say yes. Just yeah. on the off chance you don't what stop doing What guy is just it. like, please just don't touch my balls. Like, what's wrong with you? Well, it's very ticklish for me. It really? Is, it can be ticklish. Like, like if, wow. if I'm not, like... like yeah. If if so if Teresa were to just come up to me while I'm naked and just like grab my balls or start oh, well, that's like playing with interesting. then mm-hmm. then I'm then I'm yeah. like gonna be a like, little ah, warning. I, well, I, 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 not... I feel like it goes with the you know it, it Good goes hand with motion. the program the whole yeah get it going then touch mm-hmm. the balls. Yeah, I mean, porn it, is like you watch porn ball play and it's just so theatrical. It's like all right, I'm gonna stick both of your balls in my mouth and just be like. It's just it's it's a show. It's theater. It's ball theater. Ball theater. You can't just go straight like. <laughs> Cold intro into ball play. No, I don't you think can't. so. I think you have to like get the mind prepared for yeah. it because, and like you said, anything else is your you guard your testicles mm-hmm. with just the utmost care. Which so any fair, kind though. of any kind of like sudden like motion or Ooh, yeah, any yeah. sort yeah, of touch true. on them it scares my balls. Yeah, I feel bad I'm just saying how I don't think it's fair because like obviously men it's like tits are always like the first fair game to like honk and grope and feel them up. It's like I mean if you just like a girl whenever just started like diddling a dude's balls I just don't that would not be but if you think about it we're all like just grabbing tits. Yeah, we do well, do that. That's that, what we that just feel we can do that. that. I'm a big fan of okay, the. Okay, guess what? I'm a big fan of the, ladies, the nipple. Just rub, grab it. Grab the know? grab on our balls. Just honk them. Circles. Yeah, I like the circle. Circles. And, and, and then like a flicking. You know. Like wow, you got some moves. Bro. I like to do a little yeah. radio tuning. Yeah, like, I do the the DJ where I like put on some headphones and just go like that. <laughs> that's actually how I do on the vagina like this. Okay, I like yeah. it. DJ I'm DJ I'm Clit I'm DJ Clit Flick is my also. Uh, oh, my, that's my your handle. other name. Yeah, it's my handle. Yeah. How is Catherine, by the way? Speaking of uh, <laughs> yeah, speaking oh. of DJ Clit Flick, 
She's good, man. She's yeah, yeah, yeah. she's hanging tight. Absolutely. That's good to hear. That's I'm sure she'll to listen hear. to this and love it. One of the uh, one of the things that uh, I wanted to mention to you as well is that you know how uh, everybody's buying everything these days off of like Amazon Prime Fuck, yeah. or Amazon, right? Like yeah. all the delivery for everything these mm-hmm. days, right? Mm-hmm. So what I'm confused about is like the various uh, delivery services, mm. be it UPS, U.S. Postal Service, or even FedEx. And why there's so much like difference between all of the companies? Because I found like U.S. Postal Service pretty good, UPS mm-hmm. actually my favorite. Then you got the Amazon vans that ride around, so it's like their own thing even. Oh yeah. But FedEx, FedEx fucking sucks. Yeah, is is it rough. just me or does FedEx in general suck? Because I I'm, I'm I've got something ordered that's coming. Yeah. And they told and like. The the Amazon thing told me it's like, oh, it should be here by, like, uh, say, Friday. Now FedEx is telling me completely different information yeah. with their tracking number. Yeah, and they're saying too. and they're saying it won't be here till Monday. And I just i am sick and tired it of sucks. FedEx fucking sucking at their jobs. Yeah. I've had uh, experiences, too, with FedEx where I just feel like they give up easy. Like, mm-hmm. I've had times where, like, you know, I, and I live in an, uh, an apartment complex, so I just feel like there's been times where, like, they promise you, you get the tracking, oh, it's going to show up by, yeah. they'll bullshit you. Oh, it'll be there by 8 o'clock that night. And then it's like, then it's like you get some bullshit apology email, like, sorry, looks like, you know, we weren't able to get it to you on time, and then it's like, what the fuck? You know, can you give me more of an explanation like that? It just yeah. seems like such an easy out to be like, we promised you this, you paid for it, but you just, you know, no refund. You're just gonna I, get it when you get I don't, it. Yeah, I don't understand it like, either because fuck? because there's in, in this day and age with like reviews and all this type of stuff, you would think that they would want to step their game up. They've outgrown and it. How and how is yeah, it possible? Yeah. How is it? But how is it possible that they're like the one company that can just be like, yo, yo, we promised that, but yeah, fuck you. Yeah, fuck they've off. outgrown it. It's a it's a service that yeah. Yeah. one you don't control anymore because no matter what you order off Amazon, they're gonna bid out whatever that route or that truckload came to. And give it to the person who bid them the best. Mm-hmm. Or whoever's got the contract this week or this month or this year. It's oversaturated, too. It's it's one of those things now that, like, we've opened Pandora's box with things like Amazon and the pro- – I mean, even the idea of the promise of, like, next day, that same day delivery. Oh, the, yeah, reality is is, nuts, yeah. the reality is, is, like, they're only as big as their fleet can grow. And honestly, you know, you look at Amazon, you know, for instance, they do have their own drivers. Sure. These are shitting in bags. They're pissing in jars. They're, they're, they're wearing things on their wrists yeah. that just say you either do this or you're fucking fired. So you have this insane demand of, like, getting getting it there on time, getting it all across the country in rural areas and city areas. So they outsource all the other shit to these places like FedEx, USPS, UPS, which already have a fleet of people that are busy so you're just piling it on piling it on it's too big for its britches but the promises never stop you notice that it's never just like yeah they're never going to recalculate the like the the idea or the promise they're They're going to stay stay with it they have to and guess what as long as it works like Eight out of ten times, yep. That's you won't, all they you're, care not, about. you're not going to cancel your Prime membership yeah, of course because not. the idea now of you waiting three days, Heaven five forbid. days, I know. you can go fuck yourself. Isn't, I'm never isn't waiting. Isn't that, that hilarious long. though? Like that's where we are as as a society and as a culture. Like I remember a time where it was like, you know, you'd order Two something weeks. on the internet. Yeah, or oh, oh, seven, a five. Remember the five to seven business days promise. You would laugh in anybody's fucking face if you if they said five to seven. Like I can't wait five fucking days. Yeah, no. Uh, do me a favor too. Yeah. I'm gonna mute your mic for two seconds. Just jiggle that cable. I think there's a slight issue. Oh, jiggle yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you hear you hear the the, the that thing. Yeah, I touched it and I heard it yeah, make I, a little static noise. Think, I think you probably got it. That that cable probably just needs to be jiggled the handle. But, but, yeah, but the, yeah, the the box is open now. You will never. Go back to wanting to wait for five days yeah. for anything no, you're that right. you're going to order. No, we're a so now they know. Impatient society. We're impatient with everything. We want it now. We want it fast. And you're right, Mike. That's what they'll do. They'll say, 
oh, sorry, you were upset? And they'll go, we'll give you a credit. And a credit is like throwing crack to a fiend. Like, oh, my God, I got a credit. I got an Amazon credit. I got a credit. Nobody cares. They'll go back and spend the credit. One of the weirder ones, too, is when then you get, like, the – have you had this one where you have an Amazon driver that drives their own car? I've like seen where, that. Where yep. it's like a sedan that pulls up to your house <laughs> and drops something it's off. It's weird. Like, yeah, it's like, huh? How does that work? Dude, but... did that I don't even get how that makes fiscal sense. Yeah, because yeah, I've saw true. somebody pulled up today in a normal sedan. Yeah, and I'm like, you could fit what? Not much. Eight packages, maybe depending on size. I know. If what are people using your back then? seat and yeah. everything? Yeah. And so now, do they do they give you the route? Or did they just say, yeah, I wonder how Here that works. are all the things, uh, and here's where they all go. You figure that out. Is that more like maybe they're gig workers and they just pick it up for the af- – like they pick maybe, it up for the day maybe, or something? Yeah. Like that's what it feels like to me. And they're they usually like- source that out. I saw a lot of that like during the holidays because mm-hmm. they got absolutely so, for lack of a better term, butt fucked yeah, by yeah, everybody yeah. ordering that crazy like demand. I would see these weird people pull up and be like – Hey, you know where this apartment is? Like, everybody gets lost in my apartment complex, so I would just see these people looking so lost. I'm like, do you work for Amazon? Yeah, it's three buildings down. Sure. I'm, like, telling people where to fucking go. Like, Jesus Christ. Speaking of cars, I was thinking about this today because I have – I've always – every car that I've ever had, I've always named it. Are you guys – are you guys – do you name your cars? Mm -hmm. Uh, I stopped doing that a while ago. I feel like I – I feel like I named my, like, high school whip. That was it. Well, what did you name your high school? Well, in high school, I had my mom's – I had the the courtesy of driving my mom's Dodge Caravan. Yes. It was purple. I called it the Grape of Wrath is what I called Ah, it. Ah, that's good. I like that. I like that. That's the last name I ever gave a car. Ty, do you have a name for your truck? Do you, did you have you named like your uh, truck or the your old van? Or Ty's your... had a bunch of different yeah, badass. Yeah. Uh, Buick. He had the Buick. He had that like, that big ass that <laughs> blue truck thing. That the he blue had. truck. Oh, the blue, the blue truck, truck was Delilah, and uh, I love that name. The de- purple, the purple more recent truck become became Delilah the second. Delilah, Delilah the second. Original. Uh, yeah. Well, it, it was it was like a. You know, I I didn't expect to be attached to it very long. Okay. It's like, yeah. You're selling that thing. Right? I was gonna say, what's yeah. the status yeah, of that? Getting rid of that thing? Yeah. Yeah. Is it, I is it even tried working? to really sell it at all yet, but I need to. Does it not start? Does it start? What's... No, it works. It works. It's Just fine. parted ways with it, more or less. Yeah. Well, he uses yeah, mom's my... car now. I think. My mom bought a new car, and I'm Hells taking yeah. over the mom's old car. Fuck it. Whip it. Sounds Whip it convenient. Around. Have you named that one? No, I have not. Okay. I'm not partial to it, but it's it's still huh. it has air conditioning and heat. So yeah. Oh that's... man, those are two big checks. <laughs> those are big ones. What about your new uh, car that you haven't? When when are you gonna get this thing ready? To, when are you gonna oh, start yeah. driving this money, thing, bro. Mike? Just money, man. Like a, we, right. again, I pay for an apartment. It's ridiculous for rent. Yeah, yeah. And so every time we get almost close it's yeah. round ah, to yeah. paying rent again Fucking and bitch uh, but and it's getting there slowly but yes i've named most of my cars um my very first uh my honda civic that i had in high school was ico the second honda civic ico why is i would i what's uh, ico? it was like small and cute in japanese <laughs> yeah and it that's was a exactly honda. yeah um Gay. <laughs> uh, well, I also my second Honda Civic was Ico Two. Oh, he, you're a, you're a sequel. Oh, wow. Yeah, a lot of um, originality in this crew. Mm-hmm. Duncan is the name of my car that I currently own. Wow. Really, you I gotta, feel like he'd be honored. Yeah. Yeah. Why did you name my? Uh, it's a Highlander. Oh. oh, Duncan. Okay, because of the yeah, Highlander. Of the Highlander. Right, 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 right. Okay. Yeah, we got. Um, me and Teresa both have our cars. The white uh, cars. They're too. both white. They're both white cars. Hers is, uh, we got that one first, and that became Walter White, because uh, Breaking Bad was still huge at the time, so that's that's Walter. We call it Walter. And, Groundbreaking. Uh, and if you look, there is a, uh, there is a uh, Breaking a, a Bad. Heisenberg wa- a Heisenberg sticker? Well, there's a Heisenberg air freshener hanging in, in the, on the I like that mirror. little touch. That's yes. nice. Uh, and then mine, I... Ba- uh, Barry White? I, Jack well, White? No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> I bought it the day, like, obviously I'm a huge wrestling fan, and I bought it the day 
that Mr. Fuji passed away. Oh. And it's a Japanese car, and it's a Nissan, so my car became, that's Mr. Fuji. And okay. Cute it, story. You know, like, so there yeah. you go. Know, like, Hold on. Gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Touche, Mikey. Touché. Mine's better than yours. I don't, I don't know. That's I don't so know. funny. It's better than stuff. Oh, it's, a uh, it's so funny the way you look at cars like we're just saying like you know when you were younger and you had a car or when you're older it's like it the the burden of responsibility just like you know you're paying for your car and there's all these like responsibilities but when you're a kid you're just burning through your fucking cars you don't really give a oh, shit yeah. you know like how many cars you had 11 11 what? cars <laughs> holy wow. shit and you what three cars 35 35 he's had 11 cars that's wow. ridiculous wow, how many of those did you crash only one wow. only the one no the, all the rest of a lot of them in my adult years uh so two of them i lost to duis because i had to <laughs> sell my car yeah, to pay yeah. to off my dui stuff um three of them i've just lost to like mechanical failure like i just bought shit old cars right. and sure they yeah. died that, that, that well that happens, happens. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, that happens absolutely. and there were several of them that were just my parents cars that that's what i was allowed to drive yeah, I've had, um, I think it's four for me. I think it's four. Yeah, because yeah, I had the, had my my Cavalier in, in high school. And then I had my Volvo, then to my uh, Focus, and now with this car. But it, it does, it makes me think of this because, you know, the whole, like, what your porn name like what's your porn name <laughs> like and, it, and it's uh oh like supposed God. to be i guess it's your middle name plus the uh first car you ever owned justin civic justin civic not a bad not a bad one i think be, mine beats you i'd be humping Humping. Wait, so it's like the, 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 not the manufacturer, it's the kind of car name. I think that's the intent, right? Like, yeah. Okay. So for, for me, it would be, um, I'm Luke Cavalier. Yeah, that's a porn that's, name. That's, that's, that's good. You're fucking with that. That's a good. <laughs> that guy fucks. Yeah, you're, Luke you're, you're, Cavalier. You're slinging. You got giant balls. You're yeah, slinging yeah, them yeah. around. What about I kind of like guys? mine, too. What's, What's yours? Uh, Thomas Parisian. <laughs> Thomas Parisian, you're an Italian. You're doing Euro porn. Yeah, yeah. you're yeah, doing. I'm yeah, freaky. you do yeah. that. Like, you do that weird like cuckold porn. Ah, uh, group sex cuckold. Yeah, yeah, you're a weirdo. What about you, Tom? Uh Dominic Contour. Oh, that's a good. That's yeah. a porn name. That's, that guy that's, that's, fucks I think, too. Uh -huh, that guy fucks. <laughs> we got a whole. Yeah, yeah. we got a whole crew yeah, full it, of just absolutely. We're, stars. we're a fucking rogue squad of fucking mm -hmm. dick slinging mon monsters. Jiggle that thing again. It's being a dick. I, I know it's yours. It seems. It seems like it is. I, uh, yeah. Just fiddle with it. Maybe twist it back. Play with it. I don't know. Yeah. Play with my cord, baby. Okay, I'm not gonna touch oh, it. Yeah, I think I think that's better. It's good. That's yeah, hot sauce, my wiener. <sighs> you know Gotta what we'll do. That cord, just a little bit earlier. Uh, Teresa says my foot deodorant is working. That's on my list. Yeah, so, that was an interesting uh, thing to hear. Yeah, my foot deodorant seems to be working. It's, uh, is it a roll-on or? Yeah, it's like a stick. You okay. know, I'm just uh, pop popping Click that on the bottom. You just get real. That on my get, get that real that foot sweat. Mm -hmm. That's an antiperspirant. Uh, What's the scent of it? Oh, powder fresh. I'll take powder fresh. Yeah, it's a, it's <laughs> a very you know minimal sort of scent. It's nice. Know? Uh, uh, the other thing that happened to me the other day nice. is I went I went uh, late at night to my buddy Steve's house, went rolled by there, and then I was drunk and I was walking back home. And um, I definitely thought he was going to say I rolled on some foot deodorant and headed on over to oh, Steve. Well, I did. <laughs> I did. I did. I did. You know, it held up. It held up. Uh, I was walking back home, though, and all the rich people were putting out. It was trash day, right? Oh, it was Sunday, yeah. So it was trash day. All the rich people that I walked by their places... They were like throwing out some like really good shit. Yeah, man. Uh, I got a um, it's like a, a thing that you'd put in like a garage or what have junk. You. Like it's uh, <laughs> trash. It's, it's uh, it's a shelving unit, like a okay. plastic Knew shelving it. unit. Uh, so it had like the poles and like the slats, and you just set oh, it up. Wow. You know, yeah. it's all back if you want to look I at like it. it. Mm -hmm. And you repurposed it already? Yeah, it's back there. I, I put Have it up. Oh, I noticed you didn't bring it in the house, or you know. Well, 
Yeah. I mean, it's, a, that it's more of an outdoor type yeah. scenario. Oh, yeah, That's where they put it. Yeah, well. In I, the trash. They, these are rich people. Maybe Mikey. Went they from got, one outside to another outside. Well, one of the poles was broken, so I had to jerry rig it a little bit and get yeah. it to work. But, oh, and, and how's it not trash? I, I, it works for me. Yeah, it was and it was free. Treasure. And it took me uh, four trips to go back and forth oh picking up all God, the pieces, bro. you know, to get it. Right. Teresa but, is gonna hate you soon. But I got you're, it. you're gonna start turning into the man who starts bringing home. That's the funniest. All thing. the rich people's trash. That's the funniest thing because we go on all these walks around our uh-huh. neighborhood now, Mike, and she's the one always eyeing up, mm. like, oh yeah, oh that's a good table. Like, I've seen it. Catherine's done that too. I mean, she, we used to do that when we facetious. lived here one time. She was like, we're coming back to get that. That fucking end table. I'm like, this end table? Yeah, we took our car and drove back and got this piece of what I considered trash. (laughs) Are you guys, so when was the last time you uh, you had a a trash pick? Uh, 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 Okay, I will say. I've told you guys before. I live directly by the dumpster. I figured you, yeah. I figured you have the from... perfect access to all the per- oh, the yeah. good trash. No, picks. all I do is Fucking... take pictures of it and put it on my uh, pictures of trash post Twitter. Mm. Just. Show pictures of trash <laughs> with a dumpster overflowing. With oh, that's always gross as yeah. shit, dude. They literally pulled the. <laughs> the it's like a compactable thing that right. they have to come yeah. in and change out. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have the same thing at ours. Um, they'll pull it out on Friday Ugh. and Saturday morning. Rimming trash mountain already. Trash mountain already. It's because like yeah, there's the little absolutely. door. Yeah, and now they don't even. It doesn't even start in front. It used to be when when the thing would not actuate anymore, they'd set it A in front of the little like cutout <laughs> in the wall. Christ, bro. Then they would B, it would start to spill out onto the walk up to the, the dumpster. That's so mm. gross. Now they've just started throwing the bitches yeah. on top of the dumpster. It just goes to show you how quickly people descent into being fucking animals. Yeah, now. I agree. It's I so agree. true. And it's always like you watch this like post apocalyptic shit and you're like, how could we ever fall like that? And it's like, dude, like you said, two days and it's trash yeah. mountain. Yeah. yeah. But but you don't ever get anything good because trash like like apartment complex trash areas used to be they, they seemingly Sometimes. were the best ones because like people moving in and out all the time. They don't want to take shit with them. Here's yeah, what it's else true. I see. It's true. So I usually wake up somewhere between seven thirty, eight o'clock every morning. Mm. Um, and a little earlier lately, because I've been working some morning shifts. Sure. When I go out to smoke my cigarette in the morning, there's the guy with the truck and the flatbed oh, trailer. He steals all the good shit. He picks the trash Pickers. almost twice oh, a yeah. day, usually. Wow. That's an art form. So that... he'll come by in the morning when everybody leaves to throw out their shit when they're leaving for work in the first day. And then he does it a second loop for the people who work night shift. Oh my god! Who wake up and dump their shit? We then. we talked about this before. It's more work than real work. It's like a lot it's of work. more like these people just want to have this job, but it's more work than actual just having a eight hour a day job. Like uh, and then again, they go they go curb hopping too. They drive through neighborhoods yeah. and they pick scrapping up scrapping the metal and all that. But I I've, I'm I'm uh, I like picking up. Trash, yeah. Guess. Plus, yeah, man, you're gonna be that right. guy in your older age. You're gonna cruise at night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're gonna have like a little like trailer unit attached. A little to your hover car. trailer. I'm gonna apprentice with uh, one of the guys, the scrappers that go around. <laughs> I'm gonna apprentice. And, well, it's uh, perfect because look, look, Owen can start his day off. Yeah. Smoke a little weed. Yeah, bro. <laughs> drink a couple <laughs> tall boys. Yeah. Get in the truck. Yeah. yeah. Start cruising through the neighborhoods you know already because you know where you're going you for the good. Them. Oh, I know. The, I know the, absolutely. I know the days of, of uh, you got to you yeah. got to start chasing away other guys with trucks and trailers. Oh, I'll for get picking a, your spots. There has to be some kind of like picker's law. I got a revolver. I'll. I'll uh, oh, I'll, you have a gun in this I'll scenario. Blast! I'll wow. blast some kneecaps. It's some Mad Max trash picking shit. That's what happens. Ty, are you a trash pickerman? Not a pickerman, no, but on occasion, if I see the right thing, I will stop and I will grab. But yeah, what I it, never. What's planned. the best thing you ever grabbed? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> 
Man, uh, there was a couple like uh, coffee tables. Yeah, that I remade. coffee tables. I've got a couple of coffee tables. Uh, as a <laughs> Hopefully matter of fact, Hopefully you like clean the shit out of those too. Well, oh, you have to. Yeah, you really do. Or you like, can just lick the tops of them because oh, I'm sure God, there's just so drugs. Gross. That's copious true. amounts of drugs on top of them. This hard, a lot of this drugs hardened on cocaine on that's been <laughs> crusted onto the top of this uh, coffee mm-hmm. table. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Still but definitely, potent. like I've I've like repainted them and sold them off. Uh, like I've you're, oh, you're making money off your you're trash. You're artisanal picking. about this, bro. On occasion. What about what, what, what about you? You like end table? You said with end table, which just it was a piece of shit, and I think we left and didn't even move with it. <laughs> I was didn't like, even, yeah. and I was like, a lot of good all that time did getting this shit. No, I a uh, lamp. I think one time we found a good lamp, lamp? Uh, uh, but it, it worked, and it was like I don't yeah. know. We were kind of hard up and. Live, like back in my like early single living with roommates days when you just were like oh this will make good furniture yeah well when you're poor and you're <laughs> yeah, who cares who gives a shit yeah. dude i lived for a long time in the great outdoors and those people throw shit away for nothing yeah that's true wow they, the, the, those rich people it's how i got everything for my first apartment yeah, yeah, yeah. it's how my dad ended up with like four air compressors damn uh I'm pretty sure at one point somebody. If you know how to fix things too, like that's yeah. that's yeah. where that's it helps. It's like if you know how to like mm-hmm. fix an air compressor that's only maybe needs like something very small, like lawnmowers are like that too. People Absolutely. just throw away a lawnmower; it just needs like a spark plug or a carburetor or something very mm-hmm. simple, like to get yeah. it going. If you can understand mechanics and how to rewire yeah. and tweak and fix, you are solid. Yeah, that's you how can we just get anything. We ended up with scooter, like you know actual scooters that way mm. like where people would just come to my dad and be like i can't really fix this but you're like awesome. the handiest person i know do you want it because i feel really dumb like throwing out this right fifteen hundred dollar scooter <laughs> if we can get it running and we got it running and i drove the That's fuck awesome, out of it dude. i like you on a scooter i feel like a scooter is oh, a mike b vehicle yeah i could see I'm, you as a scooter man i'm yeah. dangerous on a scooter um mm. apparently i'm really good at like driving them mm. um back when we were in my 20s my buddy lived in right outside in lincolnville of st augustine it's like the poor little um black yeah, yeah, and yeah. college community right outside of downtown st augustine he lived there in like a little bungalow and re- we rented scooters overnight once and then drove them around the neighborhood mm. and had like races and <laughs> apparently i'm really good because i will just That's awesome you're sneak. the scooter man i can drive the fuck out of a scooter you guys recreated that lens steal my sunshine video when you were all driving around too yeah steal my sunshine i'm like standing on a scooter that's like, a rule underrated that's song. a rule that you have to play when you're on the scooter actually. <laughs> underrated song you honestly. think so yeah oh, i like that song. i like yeah. me okay. some len steal, steal my, my sunshine. sunshine okay can we get len on the show if uh, we can get eve sick yeah we can get think, len i don't think len's that far of a talk no i think len is uh, i bet len probably, is probably easier. Needs, easier. He needs the uh yeah. needs the publicity was len a band or a i think it was a band i think it was a well i mean it was the it might be the one guy yeah maybe it was a three piece but that dude with like the greasy pompadour was like the main dude, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gonna look up Len just because yeah. I need to know where they are. Fill, right up, now. fill us in. Okay. Uh, Parker Mayor Paramore in the chat room got a mirror that someone bought from Cra- Craigslist for two hundred dollars. So he picked a mirror, sold it on Craigslist. It seems like for two hundred bucks. You just gotta be smart about that. I stuff. like it. Okay, I have my update on Len. What's I'd like the Len to share update? with everybody? Uh, Len is a Canadian alternative rock duo based in Toronto, of course, Ontario. The band consists of siblings uh, Mark and Sharon ah. and uh, had a revolving lineup of touring and studio musicians. Oh, all right. Are that they... list can't have been very long because I don't even know who the fuck Len is anymore. Are they still together, Len? Uh, let me get to the last paragraph. Uh, <laughs> it says that uh, the <laughs> the group became active again in 2011. Uh, oh. The following year, the group released a music video, It's My Neighborhood, and an album it's easy if you try. And that was 2011 we've last heard from Len. Len tried a comeback in 2011. And Ten the key years. there is tried. Tried. Yeah. Failed. To get oh. the best. Sorry. Nobody, yeah, nobody cared about it. They were like, uh, play uh, Steal My Sunshine. Like, <laughs> all right, hey, that's, all that's all they we want. That's all We have other songs. Be nice. Advance your life. Fucking Len. Stupid fucking ass. God damn it. It, it's, it says here they're considered a, which I wouldn't, I guess... 
a punk band? They says they were formed as a punk band. So are the Beastie Boys, but <laughs> that's not what they're known for. Oh, come on. This is good shit right here. I mean, this is... This <laughs> is it's funny. That was 99. This is real music. I right. wish they made I shit know. like... I wish they made this music again. Like, oh, come on. Are they uh, sampling is... something here? Probably, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Get a little bit of lead. We're, We're going to get one. DMCA before the song even fucking <laughs> starts. Who cares? I was lying on the grass <laughs> on Sunday morning of last week. Oh, indulging in my self defeat. I remember that part. That's it. That's it. Yeah, that's all I remember. I'm twisted on the knees. You know what? This is a good summer song, though, too. You know, I agree. Like, it has a vibe of summer. Yeah, I'm gonna play this at my Fourth of July barbecue. I think you uh, should actually. What are you guys doing for Fourth of July? I don't have any like real stone plans, man. I just no? feel like chill. Hopefully, there's good weather. Maybe yeah. there's a there's a pool side in the future. What Maybe. Day, what day is it? Uh, Sunday. Sunday. It's the we can all. I tell you what. July. Uh, my friend Gina. I'm looking after her cats, and, uh, and she's got a pool, and she was not gonna be there oh, on Gina, the Gina Sunday. Bale, so, uh, she's out of town. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we could. We, we, we might be. Uh, we just crash that. Gina. Like, do a pool do crash. A pool crash party uh, over at Gina's. If you guys all are all like on friends Sunday. with kids, are gonna be there. Oh yeah, that happens. <laughs> yeah, still. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and we're just gonna break up that party with like our degeneracy. It's yeah. adult time, kids. There's uncomfortable boners here. You gotta leave. <laughs> adult swim. Adult swim. I mean, that's my Adult point. swim. Play land. All the kids out of the pool. <laughs> Excuse me, you just had Len on repeat? Yeah, we have, and it's going to still yes. keep going, so get the f*** yeah. out of here. Does your kid not like Len? Because fuck your kid. Oh, uh, we have one other song available. Would you like to hear that? Uh, it's uh, All <laughs> Star by Smash Mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sunshine, uh, yeah. Lady. They run back to back. We got one last thing I want to do before we okay. get out of here for the evening, and oh. it's another edition of Casting Couch. Wow, I've <laughs> sat in on uh, a casting couch in forever. Yeah, well, I... I really enjoyed doing the casting couch last week with my new well. idea of the biopics, right? Yeah, yeah, interesting. And because in honor, you know, because of Tom, in honor of Tom, okay. we're going to do a Tom-based wow. biopic what? casting couch. That's not very interesting, but that's okay. Right. That's fine. It's my creativity. Was, All right, we're, let's live in that world I, for I was, a while. I was hungover. Uh, uh -huh. but, today, but today, we're doing the biopic of Tom's. Who would play in a biopic? Who would play Tom Green? It's our first one. Andy Dick. Andy Dick as Tom Green. I mean, that is that is funny. That is funny. Wow. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I know. I don't mind it. But I think uh, I would also see, like to see a really serious actor in. Benjamin Cumberbatch. Dude. Oh, that'd be good. Like, yeah, wow. if it was somebody yeah. like Daniel that's, Day Lewis that's some reach as right there. Daniel yeah, Day Lewis absolutely. as Tom Green. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Daddy, would you like some, some sausages? sausages. Yeah, would you like yeah. some sausages? Um, yeah. He's so what's, aggressive. What's his name? Uh, Captain America would be good. I could see him taking. Yeah. Oh, Chris wearing, Evans. Chris Evans. He's with, a with shit a, actor. With a goatee though. and like no. crazy eyes. Don't like him. Right, okay. Don't I was. Like I tried. Him. I Fuck tried. him. Fuck him. Oh, um, Amer like America's him. ass. Ooh, mm. that's what they call Carl him. Urban. Who's that? Oh, I mean, wow. he's played From, all uh, sorts he's the, of. He's in the Boys recently. No, I don't know him. I don't like it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Vigo Mortensen could be. Tom oh, Green. I like that. Vigo oh, Mortensen. Wow. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. That'd be a hard ass Tom Aragorn Green. Aragorn Tom Green. Aragorn. No, I'm thinking Tom more. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking Vigo Mortensen from uh, Eastern Promises. Holy like shit. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like David fucking... Cronenberg style yeah. directs it, and it's Tom Green. Or it's, uh, oh, it's, it's Mortensen in the biopic. Yeah, I'm liking it. Ooh, that'd be good. That'd it's be not bad. It's wow. not bad. All right, that 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 hits. I have testicular cancer. <laughs> Daddy, would you like some sausage? <laughs> any any suggestions, Ty? Or are you good with those? Oh, that, oh real, I'm dying. <laughs> real quick, um, we could also, since we're on this kick of series, I want to see Christian Bale. Ooh, oh, because scary. he's also short, so I want to see Christian how they have to, like, Bale as Tom any, Green. And he transforms have... into any role, you know? Yeah. He, he'll gain the weight, he'll lose the weight. Yeah. He'll gain height. 
and they'll they'll shoot it all in like crazy perspective. And he'll really yeah, drive yeah, yeah. around in a slut mobile for a month or something to like. <laughs> I like it. You know, research. Oh, he'll go to his parents and like paint them fucking it. on their own car or no. He'll but have it to, has like, to be his actual parents. Yeah, it it's like it's not Tom's it's parents. It's Christian Bale's parents. Christian Bale's, Bale's yeah, actual I parents. It. I think it's great. All right, I'm great. into that. I'm into that. We'll go right. on. We'll go on to the oh, next. one. You know who we missed a real solid shot at? Adrian Brody. Because he's already like oh! tall and like and perfect. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, yeah, he's pretty good actually. Adrian Brody would be a good Tom Green. But yeah, he's got a real. I would say let's put a prosthetic nose on him. Maybe he's got a big yeah. old, a yeah. bigger, fucking, big old. He's got old. one of those. You know. Oh boy. Schnauzers. Yeah, we know Owen. Uh huh. Uh, nothing. <laughs> Uh, what are you talking Jesus about? Christ. Anyway, uh, let's go to the next one. Owen's got a comfortable boner about Adrian Brody's nose. <laughs> Ty does too. It's okay. How about Tom Cruise? Oh, God. I got one. I got one for Tom Cruise. I got one. I mean, it has to be kind of a pretty boy, right? Yeah. So I'm thinking. He's so fucking weird. Zac wow. Efron. Uh, Efron yeah, is is a I, go-to I like that. for me, I like, but I like Zac Efron. He Efron would, he is cruise words. Um, Not bad. Uh, Tom Cruise. He's short too. He's a short yeah. dude. Um, yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Daniel Dennis as Tom Cruise. <laughs> Ow. Yes. Endorsed. There's the, the only short person I could think of at the moment. Um, who's the guy from Game of Thrones? The uh, midget? Oh, Peter, oh wait. You oh, can't Peter, see that. Yeah, Peter Dinklage. Yeah, Peter Dinklage as, as, Tom, as, as Tom, Cruise. Tom Cruise. I love it. I, that, yeah, that's great. I yeah, love yeah, it. That's yeah. good. I like that. <laughs> I almost wanted to one up it and say the other small guy who died. Uh, start with a V. Oh, who? who are you oh, talking Vern about? Troyer. Vern oh, Vern Troyer <laughs> as Tom Cruise. Mini me as That's Tom it. Troyer. That's it. I'm good. Uh, yeah, I'm good. good yeah. I'm good. I'm yeah, good. That's uh, one in the books. Winter. Next up. Next up. <laughs> Welsh superstar Tom Jones. Oh, Tom Jones. Wow. Tom Jones. Mm. Tom Hardy, a, a tougher Tom a Jones. To, yeah, as a tough, tough Tom Jones. Yeah, I like that. I, I, like, I like bare that. knuckle boxing Tom Jones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. While, while singing really sweet songs. Yeah. Exactly. It's not unusual why he's beating oh, the fuck. Oh, Delilah. It's not uh, unusual. Ding. Yeah. Uh, Somehow uh, this is Kramer's comeback. Is oh, Tom, Michael Richards. Michael Richards. Wow. As he's Tom a really Jones. tall Tom Jones. Yeah. <laughs> a really racist good. Tom Jones, too. It's not uh, unusual to Edward, 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 Edward. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, you could get some like, go uh, you could do a goofy Tom Jones, like a funny Tom Jones. Like I like. Seth okay. Rogen could do uh, Tom Jones, Jewish I, Tom. Tom I Jones. think. You know what? It's been a while since we've seen him, and I think that he, he needs a bit of a comeback. Fifty Cent as Tom oh, Jones. Oh, I like it. Play on. Play that. Change the race up a little yep. bit. I like yep. it. Color swap. Color yeah. swap. That sounds racist. I'm not going to say that Go party like it's your birthday, Tom Jones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he could do it. I think that'd be good. Or, the, not or the late, if he was still with us, party. a real tough street Tom Jones could have been DMX, maybe? Maybe. Uh, X going to give it to you, not unusual? Machine Gun Kelly. <laughs> Oh, I hate uh, that moment. It's not okay. unusual for X to give it to you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. That Somebody in internet make that mashup right now. Yeah, right? I know. It already it rule thirty four. Oh, it already it exists. It does. It does. I'm sure. Not unusual. <laughs> we got one. I got one more. Right, right, not right, unusual right. for X to give it to you. <laughs> yeah. 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 We got one more here, and um, round off the toms. I, I know it's from your old region of the world. Uh, but really, the northeast. The northeast. What about the biopic of one Tom Brady? God, I thought you were gonna ask us who's gonna play Barilli in Barilli's bio. Oh, we, will. we should do I, that one too. I feel like a, a, a department store mannequin could bring the <laughs> could bring the depth and actual emotionalness of Tom Brady. He is a bit just kind of oh, like um, he's weird. Elbow. He's a robot, right? He is, he's weird. He's definitely a bit of a robot. I, I could see uh, Damon, Matt Damon, playing a Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Yeah, 
Yeah. Real Southie Brady. Tom fucking Brady. I could see that. Yeah. <laughs> I could see that. Um, <laughs> Jesse Plemons could be kind of a downy Tom Brady. He's a, you know, he, Tom Brady gave up on shit and got kind of plump. Vin Diesel. He ate one strawberry. Oh, oh, oh. I, I'm going Vin Diesel, Vin Diesel. as Tom Brady. Just the worst casting. <laughs> I live my life. Reddick throwing the ball to the end zone. <laughs> I live my life one Super Bowl at a time. Yeah. Too fast, two Super Bowl. You get him, or you get like. Uh, uh. <laughs> it's so he's such a creep. Oh no! Hold the on. Rock, the yeah, Rock. Say, can yeah. we get the Rock? Yeah, you can do the Rock. You can get Dwayne that. Johnson as Tom, Tom Brady. Brady. <laughs> <laughs> Except for when he's throwing the boat, like the trophy, to that other boat in Tampa Bay. Yeah, yeah. It's like he's jumping with the trophy, oh, yeah. and the boat is exploding. Yeah. Well, or, yeah. The trophy has a uh, has a bomb attached to it, and it blows up the boat. Does. Okay, does Tom Brady in football like have any mortal enemies? Like, uh, uh one strawberry. <laughs> oh, yeah. one almond. He's never, yeah. he's never had a strawberry. Never had a strawberry. <laughs> That's he's what I've heard. What about if Gronk plays him? Oh like, God! <laughs> Anybody, any meathead could play Gronk. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say if you cast it, you have to cast Brady right here, and then you have to recast Gronk as Kevin Hart. No. Oh wow, That's and, done. And I just, I just thought of it, like. Tom Brady, we're good, but you just you brought up the fact that yeah, we need to cast Tom Barilli. Like, who's Tom uh, Barilli? You're gonna say Bill we've already Bell done this. Bill we, we did this. We did this years ago yeah, on this did. show. It's it's Danny DeVito, did. isn't it? Yeah, it is Danny DeVito. <laughs> 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 you got a butt chin it. You yeah, gotta go. You got gotta it, go got straight it. Ben yeah. Affleck with yeah. Tom. Tom like yeah, with Southy Ben piece Affleck. Yeah, I think. I think piece of shit. he is a piece of shit. <laughs> Is he? Tom he's, kind, he's kind of a piece of shit, Ben Affleck. Yeah. Uh, well, we heard last week apparently that Mark Wahlberg is a piece of shit. I, yeah, I, 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 I didn't think know that's pretty that. sound knowledge that he's not a nice person. Didn't know about he's, that. He's a racist. He's a racist. Uh, he beat people up. Yeah. Uh, so that's why we should have him play Tom in the movie because he's a piece yeah, of shit I just like I Tom. Would, I would like. I would be honored if Mark <laughs> Wahlberg played me. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Barilli. <laughs> anyway, that's the casting right, that was couch. Fun. That's yeah. some fun tomage. Yeah, nice. some fun tomage. All right, all right. Uh, I think it's about time we get out of here. Uh, apparently, Cosby is roaming free. It oh, has yeah. been seen in the neighborhood, so hide your women inside. Yeah. Don't, don't, He's going to uh, ask you for a pudding pop. Yeah. Careful. Uh, no, just turn your lights off. The motherfucker can't see. That, well, well, if he can't see, what's, how's turning the lights off going to help? Fucking, <laughs> po- fucking Cosby. I think no. he can see, like, shapes. Uh-huh. He can sign his name. Uh, he can do a lot of things. Uh, not blind, not too blind for the autograph. Uh, I, want, I wanted to mention um, this week, but uh, we'll have to talk about it next week. I made a I made a new friend who lives in the neighborhood. Oh, nice. And uh, he is Bizarro Duncan. Wow. His name, I need to see Bizarro Duncan. His, his name is Billy. And uh, uh, he he is Bizarro Duncan. And, oh, shit. Uh, Zero tattoos. All the tattoos. Giant All hair. All the tattoos. Tons of hair. Long, flowing, beautiful I'm hair. I'm going to say, he Pale does actually albi- have hair. He's actually albino um, with a fro. Yeah. Um, <laughs> short, like, bowling ball of a man. Yeah. Alabaster skin. Yeah. Um, very kind. Ultimately kind. He actually, actually, this guy was super, really nice. Um, wow. like wow. We had, like, we said, like, man, we had, like, a date. Like, we wow. said, we had to set up, like, a man's um, date, and we, we hates, got to know each you other. You guys had comfortable yeah. boners Hates each all other. things nerdy. Like, just doesn't like nerd stuff in, at all. I'll tell you what's weird about this. Here's what's, here's what's crazy about him. Like, Duncan, obviously, like, left Orlando, right. moved to Denver once upon a time. Came, uh, you know, went on tour, came back. This guy um, also lived in Colorado. Low. Also, Ty lived in Wisconsin for a little <laughs> bit, which is weird. Yeah. That's bizarre. Um, his uh, Duncan's like big on like the body modification to a degree with like tattoos, and then also having like you know your. Uh, what do you call it? the the plugs the ear the gauges wood, gauges thing yeah and so this dude for a living is a woodworker okay and leather worker that oh. makes his living off of selling uh, custom gauges on Etsy 
I make leather gauges. That's they stink. Crazy. They smell so bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which Ew. I think because Duncan has gauges too, so that's another weird artisanal fact. gauges. Yeah, artisanal gauges is kind of how he makes his that's living. Bizarre. And uh, uh, I was gonna, you know, what? I was gonna give that a gay. I just decided, mm, nah, that's nah, not, not all right. It, it, it's all right. It borders, but it's not there. And uh, and smokes mad weed, just like uh, Duncan. Yeah, so yeah, get along uh, just fine. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we'll get him on the show in yeah, the near absolutely. future. I think he's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, and, and yeah, uh, it was it was an absolute absolute pleasure. I'm getting drunk. Uh, it's an absolute pleasure having you again. Oh, my pleasure, man. In studio, Tom. Thanks, guys. This was great. I made it worth the trip. You know, if I come here, I got to come on the show. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Do. If you're That's ever a in second home to me. Absolutely. Dude. Absolutely. Absolutely. Much love to the audience and much love to the show. The show's just going so strong. You guys are. You guys are rocking it, man! Congrats. Doing what we can, and it's uh, and, and and seriously, I know we joke around a lot, but uh, it wouldn't be the show it is and the program that it is without oh. you. And you've done Thank so you, much uh, wonderful stuff for us, Absolutely. guys. It's time for Gus to get out of here for the evening. Uh, check out our Patreon, Patreon.com/slash ONRS, if you want to throw some of those hard-earned dollars. Like uh, it really does help us out. We're saving up for a new computer, so that they just that the stream can be even better. Okay. Uh, find us on Facebook. You know how that works. Oh No Radio Show. If you're a, res- a wrestling fan, you can find us on Facebook as well uh, with Oh No Wrestling and, of course, oh no Wrestling.com. Uh Leave us a voicemail. 407-906-6466. <laughs> the only and, part I know. Uh, and hey, yeah, I'm get mad at the fact that I still haven't changed our opening message. Oh, yeah, uh, I gotta but, do that. Uh, I gotta, probably gotta do that. Either way, we thank you for listening. If you're this is uh, you just listening on the uh, podcast feed, don't forget that every week we are live over at twitch.tv slash O N R S live. And boys. What do we say as habit and tradition <laughs> as we get out of here for the evening? Eat up and we'll see you next week. We love ya. Have a good uh, have a good night and good week. <laughs>